What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another stream. I am your host, Avery Austin, where we invite non-believers to come on up and engage with the topic that is at hand. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope that you all had a beautiful Resurrection Sunday, uh, the day that our Lord was raised up back to life. We celebrated that yesterday. Um, yeah, yeah, yesterday. And so, you know, it's, 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 it's exciting. And of course, in lieu of such a holiday, such a celebration, I think it would be beside me to not do a topic on the crucifixion and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Absolutely. Our Lord, the Most High God, the Son who came in the flesh, decided to give his life as a ransom for many so that you and I and others can have that chance at salvation and communion with the Father. So, yes, we're doing this. So if you're ready, Muslims, if you're ready to come on up and engage, you can come on up at any time because... The topic today that you have to answer for is upon Allah. Allah is the one who started Christianity. He's the one that did it. Ain't no way. In, what in the world are you doing? <laughs> what you doing? What? What? what you doing here, man? Man, you know you can't be doing that, man. You can't be putting that propaganda out there, man. <laughs> I'm a true, I'm a true Muslim, man. Oh man, you know what? Today would be a good day to have you line up <clears throat> against the Muslims and prove to them how you are indeed the last and final messenger. But today ain't that day, man. Today ain't that day. <laughs> what 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 question are you asking to uh the true muslim though i'm a defender of allah so i'm i don't think i don't think you really i don't think you really a defender a defender of allah man not well, not, I mean, not to, have not you proved this. it could you can, have you proved that because it seems like every time we go live nobody could prove me wrong from christianity from well from any... the christian side you get stumped oh no nah, you tried that i smoked you i got content the, 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 Muslims, the muslims they have a hard time the Maybe christians uh, every every the, Mus the you... muslims have a hard time dealing with you because they don't have a method unproven a false prophet but christians but christians can't do it you guys y'all believe the same thing you both believe in that uh, people. Nah, man you guys Look, don't you, have y'all don't you, have prophets Nah, you see, you 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 a TikTok phenom, man. You a, nah, it ain't no rush TikTok. Them on I mean, TikTok. It's, I'm on YouTube too. Oh yeah, the YouTube channel too. I haven't. Yeah, and I just when somebody lying, I hold them accountable. So oh, okay, I believe okay. I read the books you believe, you read, and mm. I, you're not reading it right. And uh, I know the pagan Muslims. You know they got to come to the truth because Vladimir Putin just released that all the prophets are black. So we right know. That. That, that's a world leader too, so everybody's gonna have to do everything right now. And Muhammad is also black, that. So. Yeah, that that ain't got nothing to do with any type of truth or or salvation to yourself. How, well, this, how but this, but this, this, what, this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do because, like on TikTok, we could do it. But here, I'm gonna deal with the heretical Muslims, not the not the true oh, Muslims. Okay, I'm okay. Deal, I deal with the heretical Muslims. Here. Yeah. So you ain't got no questions for the true Muslims who believe in Allah, Dios, Yahweh. Not, not today. They got many names. Not today. All right. I, today. I, I appreciate. I appreciate your honesty, man. <laughs> no worries. You take care. All right. Peace. <laughs> Peace. Ah, yeah, guys. That's that's a that's a that's a brother who who the Muslims can't prove wrong. He claims to be uh, the last prophet that's mentioned in the Quran, Muhammad. That's who he claims to be. So. Uh, Hey, and I, I I haven't truly seen a Muslim completely completely debunk him, so that's tough. But anyway, we're here. Uh, 
you know, I'm waiting for Radar to show up. Radar Apologetics is supposed to be showing up anytime soon, any minute now, but that's all right. Uh, I want to say thank you to everyone who gives on PayPal and Patreon. Thank you guys so much. Oh, speak of the angel. Thank you guys so much. What's up, Radar? Um... I want to just say I appreciate each and every one of you guys, man, for supporting the ministry, giving and, uh, you know, sharing videos and, uh, you know, sh you know, giving your funds through Cash App, Venmo, Patreon, PayPal. Thank you guys so much, man. I really appreciate you guys. The ones who give on Zelle as well. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Radar, are you ready for today, man? I'm ready, brother. All right. Ooh, hey, my mic sound good. Goodness. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, I need all the works today. How you, do How you doing, brother? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good, excited man. for this, man. I'm excited, I'm excited to get excited, into man. it. It's Allah's fault, man. Allah started Christianity. <laughs> he the reason funny, why man. I believe the crucifixion in the first place, man. Hey, man. <laughs> hey. Uh, the greatest of deceivers, right? They say. The greatest of deceivers, man. All right. <laughs> he got us both. He got he got us both, man. He, he, he got, got us. He got the Jews and the people and the Christians and the, the followers of the Angel and the Torah. Tawat. <laughs> tough, man. That's tough. Well, crazy. We got a Muslim in the back. Let's see. Uh, let's see how this goes. How you doing, Ahmed? Hello. Yeah. Can you hear me? I can hear you just yes, fine, man. Yeah. I can hear you just fine. Okay. But yeah, I said it was Allah's fault, my man, that I'm a Christian today. Okay, so first, uh, it is not the last word. It is the, it is the Paul who made it that Jesus died for the sins of the people, because how we know, because we know the early Christians like the Peter, Paul, James, these people follow the law. So if they follow the law, that means according to them, Jesus did not die on the cross. If Jesus died, then why they need to follow the law? So it is mm. the Paul who is telling Jesus died on the cross. So you don't need to follow the law. Mm. So, so to, to be clear, it's it's Paul, not Allah, but it's Paul that made us believe that Jesus died for our sins. Yeah. Okay, man. I mean, uh, Paul was a part of it. I mean, hey, I mean, Paul, yeah, was, hey. Paul, was, Paul was one of them. I mean, what's the problem? What are we talking about here, man? Shout you out know, Paul, man. Shout big, big shout out to Paul, the Sheikh Sheikh Rob Shaul, the Apostle, the Shaliach. Um, yeah, I mean, so Paul, for sure, right? He took the gospels, he received it from them, he brought it forward, and he wrote most of the New Testament books, and he didn't teach anything in contradiction to the Torah, or the prophets, or Jesus, or the disciples that came before him. He goes up, he talks to them, they agree with him. What's the issue, brother? What's the problem? Yeah, I'm telling you, okay? I know, in the Acts of the Apostle, Paul's go to Paul's go to Jerusalem to see the James. In the place, what James say? go to the temple do the sacrifice so yeah. and uh, show show to the people that you are following the law so mm -hmm. but paul is telling no need to follow the law so here paul is contradicting jesus and the disciples don't you think so, so? no i think you don't know what you're talking about so let's okay. go to acts 21 20 all right okay and look at what we hear okay. listen acts 21 20 all right gonna so they basically you, out there I'm gonna let you right. check them on this radar but then, then we, we gotta him? because he's, this know. is a deflection. The whole thing is a deflection. I figure, but it's important though because this is really mm -hmm. important because this Absolutely. they try to drive divisions between the Messianic community between Paul and Yeshua, and they try to create these divisions. And we just want to shut that down real quick. Absolutely. Acts twenty one twenty. Paul is speaking to James. They're in the community. Look what it says. They heard that many people from the Gentiles were being saved and coming into the knowledge of the Messiah. This is what happens. The Messiah's message goes to the nations. And look what it says. Twenty one twenty. When they heard it, they began glorifying God. And what did they say? You see, brother, how many thousands there are among the Jews of those who have believed and they are zealous for what? The Quran. Psych. They are zealous for the law. They're zealous for the Torah. <laughs> they stood operating in the identity markers that were part of the house of Israel while the temple was still standing. And it was all good, brother. So you have no idea what you're talking about, Ahmed. Uh, yep. That's so, I'm telling. Hey, I'm here. Just, uh, just really quick, I mean, when you talk, it sounds like there's a lot of feedback. I don't know if you're like, there's a lot of movement on your mic or if you're breathing into it a lot, but we're picking up a lot of uh, feedback sometimes when you're talking. Okay, how about now? Okay, so my point is simple, okay? Yeah, all of that. Okay. Whatever you do with that movement, I can, you know, I can hear all of it. Okay. 
Just recite, so, Ahmed. Yeah, okay. Now, my point is why James asked in Paul to go into the temple and do the sacrifice. If Jesus is the ultimate sacrifice, why you need to go to the temple and do the sacrifice? Why Paul cannot say, James, you are wrong? Okay, we don't need any sacrifice anymore. Dude, you already, you already refuted. Avery, you could just send yeah. that. Yeah, we already refuted him. Yeah, so yeah. so it's, it's interesting to try to go to that for his sins. Notice it, he didn't do that for his sins. He didn't do that at all. And Radar just broke that down to you. But this, but you said something interesting, that it was Paul that made us believe that Jesus died for our sins and things of this nature. But uh, according to the Quran, who is it that made it appear that Jesus died on the cross? Yeah, it was according to our tafsir. It was appeared like Jesus, but after that, Jesus came down and told his disciples, that's, that's not what I, I asked. Come back. Ahmed, okay. I asked, okay. who, who made it appear that Jesus died on the cross? Who, 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 who did that? Who made it appear that Jesus died on the cross? God, Allah. Allah. So okay. now I'm getting two, com two conflicting things. Earlier okay. you said it was Paul that made us believe that Jesus died on the cross. But now okay. you're saying that it was Allah that made us think that Jesus died on the cross. And you were condemning Paul for making us think that. So is did Allah do a bad thing then by making us think Jesus died on the cross? Yeah. Okay, let me explain. So Allah, it, initially it was appeared Jesus died on the cross. But after that, Jesus came down from the heaven, according to what I came down and told his disciples, I was saved. I am in the heaven. I will come back. Second coming. So disciples then got understood. Okay, Jesus did not die. That's why they follow the law. All the disciples. But Paul, yeah, so so the disciples, so the disciples saw Jesus again after the crucifixion event. Yeah, according to nice. the tafsir, we don't know any hadith. Okay, according to the tafsir literature says yes. According to the tafsir, got it. According to the tafsir, so not the Quran or the hadith, but but the tafsir. Okay, so th this is what's interesting to me. Because, again, you, you didn't quite answer my question. You're just kind of giving me a, a, a narrative, which I don't mind, the narrative. But I'm, I'm going with what was going on here. You said, when I asked, or when I talked about uh, that it was Allah's fault that, you know, I believe that Jesus died on the cross. You said, no, it's Paul's fault. Paul's the one who made you believe that Jesus died on the cross. And you condemned Paul for that. But... A few moments ago, you acknowledged that actually it was Allah who made us think that Jesus died on the cross. So would you condemn Allah for this? Because you condemned Paul for it. So did Allah do a bad thing by making us think that Jesus died on the cross like you said Paul did? God made it right. Allah made it right. Initially, it was appeared, but later, it, Allah did what? Came. Jesus. You got to talk, yeah. talk slower for me, Ahmed. Please, please forgive yeah. me, but you got to talk a little slower for me. Okay, um, what I'm telling you is initially it was appeared like Jesus, but after Jesus came and told his disciple he did not die. So initially it was appeared, but later it was corrected. Wait, his so, so, who, so who whose fault was it that people believed that Jesus died on the cross in the first place? That's why I told you it was the Paul who began that message. Initially, I thought it was Allah, but you just said it was Allah. But my point is God logic. Allah made it appear like Jesus, okay? But later he made it right. So when Jesus okay. came back, he told them I did not die on the cross. So even okay. though first okay, yeah. Okay. So initially okay. it was Allah's fault that people believe Jesus died on the cross, correct? It cannot be fault. If it is made right, it cannot be fault, right? Well, yes. yeah, well, I mean, yes. Oh, so let me ask you this. Did everyone did everyone see Jesus again or just his disciples? According, yeah, I think more, uh, I think according to Luke, I think more than 500 people. So oh, no, 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 don't, don't use my stuff now. Don't, don't go to the Bible to try to help fill the holes in what, in your narrative. You're using tafsir. You're not even using Quran or Hadith. You're using tafsir to come up with your answer. So stick with okay. your tafsir. Did okay. anybody else other than the disciples see Jesus again after this? After this, after the crucifixion event? No, Tafsir, we don't have any information. Tafsir simply says okay. Jesus appeared to the disciple and, and told them. So we don't have how many people, how much people, we don't have any information on so, that. Right. So, just, just, so just as it shows just a few of his disciples. 
So everyone else, everyone else thought that Jesus okay. died by died by crucifixion because of Allah, correct? No, that's why it doesn't say few disciples, it just say appear to the disciples. Okay. Now that means disciples mean it, it doesn't mean 12 disciples, okay? All the people who have seen Jesus, who have lived Jesus are disciples. Okay, even according to the Bible, some say 70 disciples. You said everyone who's seen Jesus is a disciple? A seen who follow Jesus is a disciple. Okay, right? Everyone who's followed Jesus is a disciple. Okay, so everyone who followed Jesus is a disciple. Uh, according right. to the Tafsir, which disciples did Jesus appear to? And clear this up. I don't think so. It do not give a name. It says appear to the disciples. It may be many or all of them. No information. But even... So you even don't know. Though, yeah, I don't okay. know. I, we don't have information. It's okay. We have it's okay. Yeah. Mark, just, just, I'm just, I'm just tallying up. I'm just tallying up everything so that we can get to. I'm gonna show you why I'm asking these questions. So, appear to some disciples. Some disciples. Uh -huh, don't know who. Okay, Allah sent Jesus back to clear up. Allah made it look like Jesus died in the first place. Okay, so when Allah made it appear that Jesus died on the cross, <clears throat> what happened exactly? What happened? Do you mean by that? Just make yeah, when he said when it, when it says when it says it was made to appear to them, what exactly happened? How did how did they how did it appear that Jesus was on the cross to them? I think we don't have information. I the according to Tafsir, even the disciple believed it was Jesus initially. Right. That's what Tafsir. Okay, they were convinced. That's why Jesus has to come back to say it was not. Okay, so don't know how it it appeared. The one point is very clear, okay? After the Jesus, all the disciples follow the law. Not a single of them. Didn't, Got it. All of them follow the law. It was the Paul who initiated the movement not to follow the law. It was got the it, got Paul. It, got it. Paul, all of them follow the law, to be sure. I got you. I got you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I got you. So <clears throat> we have all I made it appear that Jesus died by crucifixion. We don't know how he did it. We don't know exactly what happened. Uh, Allah sent Jesus back uh, to his, to the disciples. We don't know who. And he cleared up that he didn't die, that he is yet alive. But the disciples thought that he died. They thought that he died. Jesus says, no, I didn't die. I'm alive. It never happened. Got it. Um, so in light of all of this, still... Paul's nowhere to be found, and yet so far we have Allah being the one that made these people believe that Jesus died by crucifixion. And to the ones who Jesus didn't appear to, they still kept this belief that Jesus died by crucifixion. Let's say, for example, was Paul one of his disciples? No. So Paul was under the illusion that Jesus died by crucifixion from Allah, correct? I don't think he was there at the time of crucifixion. You don't think he was there? Of course he was there. Every, everybody was there. Everybody knew about it. No, he never he never met Jesus. He never mentioned that. How else would he, he be says, preaching that Jesus died on the cross? Unless he didn't unless it didn't appear to him. No, yeah, he had the vision. Because of the vision he's toting, he never saw Jesus. He never seen Jesus. Right? You know, you know. No, wait, 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 wait. The vision. R R Rabbi, help me out. Was Paul persecuting the church before his vision? Yes, sir. Yes. So, so yes. Paul already knew that Jesus was crucified and dead, but didn't believe in this resurrection of him, right? Right, Radar? Yeah, my, That's my right. point is, when the okay. crucifixion happened, Paul was not there. That, that, that was I tell you. How was he able happened, to preach that Jesus was crucified if he wasn't there? Well, people, Josephus mentioned that one. Testers mentioned that one, but they were not there. They were mentioning what people are talking about. Oh, okay. Got it. Man, it's beautiful. 
So Paul went around preaching. Paul went around preaching the original illusion that Allah had caused in the first place. Is that correct? So for Paul, it wasn't cleared up, right? What do you mean by that? Huh? What, What do you mean by that? So everybody thought that Jesus was crucified. Even the disciples, right? Even the disciples. But the disciples had it cleared up for them when Jesus came back and appeared to them again and said, hey, I'm not dead. I'm actually alive. I didn't die. You know, right? So the disciples had it cleared up for them, right? Paul didn't. Paul wasn't a disciple. So so Paul still thinks whether he saw it or heard it, he's still preaching or spreading this original delusion that Jesus was crucified, right? Hmm. Whose fault is that? Is that Paul's? Is that Paul's fault? Is that or is that Allah's fault? That Paul is preaching that Jesus was crucified. Ah, This is the point. Okay, so from the Old Testament, it is very clear the Messiah will be will be saved. No, no worries. No worries. But so, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter what your theological view is or what Paul's uh, theological view is, if Allah wanted to make it appear that Jesus died by crucifixion, could Paul help believing anything else? Could he go against what Allah made appear happen? What do what do you mean by that? I didn't get exactly what you said. Could could if if Paul wanted to. Could okay. Paul have resisted the illusion that Allah created that Jesus was okay. crucified? Okay. Could he, could he have resisted that? No, simply he has to follow the disciples. Right. Disciples are teaching that Jesus did not die. So if he had but, listened to them. But why would he follow he can... them? But hold on. Why would he follow them if he's under the impression from Allah himself that Jesus did and die, did indeed die by crucifixion? Why would he follow these words of the disciples when he saw and knows that Jesus was crucified like everybody else knows? He he should be convinced by the message, right? Because he was convinced by the message of Jesus. Wait, why should he be convinced by disciples who who could be out of their mind, a few of them, don't even know who they are, who could be out of their mind saying, hey, actually, no, Jesus didn't die. When everybody else is like, no, we saw him. Yes, he did die. Yes, that's what he did die. That's what yeah, Allah okay. caused him to see. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. I got your point. So what you are telling, so the Allah gave the impression Jesus died on the cross, right? Uh-huh. So, uh, okay. Now, the point is, God logic, it is my understanding. It was the Jewish people who planned to kill Jesus. So it was the punishment from God. So they plan against Jesus. Allah plan against them. That's what's saying. So it is a punishment from God. Kind of a punishment because they plan to kill Jesus. Because of that, because of that, when God convinced them, okay, you kill him. Okay. I got you. Punishment for resisting Jesus because he came with clear signs, but still they rejected Jesus because of that one is kind of a punishment. I got you. I got you. So Allah sent this delusion as a punishment to the disbelievers who were rejecting Jesus. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. But you said that the disciples also got caught up in this delusion. But they were believers, right? Yeah. That's why Jesus came back and told them, I did not die. So Allah Allah tricks believers as well? That that was made right, right? Initially, it was appeared to them. Yeah, that's why I told Jesus came back and told them I did not die. That was wait, made right. How? Wait, hold on a second. If Allah even tricks believers, how then could they believe that Allah sent Jesus to clarify it? How could that? How? How would they know that's not another trick? Yeah, that was clearly a sign that Jesus appeared to them over forty days. Jesus convinced them he's actual Jesus. No, no, no so don't don't use my Bible again. Again, you're trying to use my Bible to help. The holes in your narrative. Don't do that. My Bible is off the table here. You're stuck with your own story. You, my Bible doesn't help you. 
if you're going to go with my Bible, then Jesus was definitely crucified and definitely rose from the dead. No questions about it. So you can't go to my Bible to try to help your narrative. No, so, I'm going to, my, from the Bible itself, I'm telling Jesus did not die. That's what I, that's why I told you. Disciples no worries. No worries. My Bible still doesn't help you. So you have, according to your Quran, Allah tricked not just the disbelievers, but he punished the believers as well. And then you're saying, oh, but he fixed it. How do you know that he fixed? How do you not know that that was just another delusion? If he's even willing to trick believers, punish believers by tricking them. The point is very simple. Okay? These believers, they kept the law because even Jesus died. Next, next week, they kept the Sabbath. So these people continue to follow the law. So God, as a, because, because of that one, God sent Jesus and Jesus appeared to them in a form. So initially they doubted. Okay, even disciple initially doubted. Hey, hey, brother, you're, you're moving. Every time you're moving, I like your this feedback on your mic. I can, it, it overclouds your voice. You know what I'm saying? So like you gotta. I don't know if you're moving too much or or what, but you gotta you gotta not move so much or something. Okay. 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 Protect let me your mic. Yeah. Let me disconnect and join Okay. Give me a second. All right. Huh. Yeah. That was wild. Indeed. What, what what you guys think? So this is what I jotted down so far. And there's a reason why I jotted this stuff down. Allah made it appear to everyone that Jesus was crucified. He tricked everyone. Allah sent this delusion as a punishment to the disbelievers. However, the believers, the disciples of Jesus, also got caught in this delusion. So even they received the punishment, even though they were believers. Then we got that, Jesus, that Allah sent Jesus back to clarify the matter with some of his disciples, but no one else. Um, we don't know who got this revelation, who got this visitation from Jesus. Uh, this is not in the Quran, nor is this in the Hadith, but these are theories that's being made of by some of the tafsirs. So the reason why I wanted to, I jotted all of this stuff down, guys. I want you guys to pay attention here. Notice all of the stuff that he had to come up with to try to clear the stuff up, right? All the stuff he had to try to come up with. Come on, man. I just clicked it. What's up? What is this? Oh, what was that? <laughs> it, was, it was arrows I was trying to put on the as my thumbnail. Okay. So. Getting fancy, I see. You feel me, John? Trying to trying to step it up, hey, man. I'm, hey, the, the la thumbnail today look good. Look sharp. Thanks, man. I did it all by myself. My man. I'm just kidding. Now that life did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks sharp though. Thanks. All right. Lazina. Thank you. This is why I brought up all of these different points and rumors and stuff that our homie had to come up with, because this is what it says, guys. And because of their saying, the Jews, we killed the Messiah, son of Mary, the messenger of Allah, but they killed him not, nor did they crucify him, but it was made to appear it so to them. Uh, skipping all the brackets because that's nowhere near the, that's not in the verse. But now watch this. And those who defer therein are full of doubts. They have no knowledge. So the ones who defer about the crucifixion they're just full of doubts. They have no knowledge. They follow nothing but conjecture. Now, everything that I was just reading and listening to the brother, let me ask you, Radar. Did Jesus die under Pontius Pilate? Yeah, he did. All right. Everybody, put a one in the chat if you think that Jesus died by crucifixion under Pontius Pilate. Put a one in the chat for me. And while you're at that, make sure you hit the like button too. <laughs> 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 it's crazy, go ahead, bro. Go ahead and hit that like button while you're at it. Put a one, okay. All right. Dang, we got a bunch of them. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's 1,300 of you guys in here. So all of you guys are in agreement. No doubt. No misconception that Jesus died by crucifixion 
under Pontius Pilate. And radar, you're with you're you're with the same. So yep. no conjecture there. You guys don't defer in the matter. But what I just heard, we just heard our homie who just left. He deferred in the matter, didn't he? Had no no. I I asked him basic questions on the crucifixion of Jesus. He had no basic answers. No knowledge. But just follow right. conjecture. No, nothing in the Quran, nothing in the tafsir. I'm, I'm sorry, nothing in the hadith, but just commentators coming up with stuff, coming up with stories and rumors on how to rectify the crucifixion event. And they have so many theories. So, Radar, let me ask you this. Who are the ones that are in doubt about this, who defer about this, and who just follow conjecture? Is it the Christians or are or is it the Muslims who are following conjecture? So far, it seems like the Muslims. The Muslims. The Muslims. Muslims. <laughs> this verse exposes you guys, man. It exposes you guys as the ones who defer. It exposes you guys as the ones who follow conjecture. It ain't the Christians. We are all unanimous on this event. We follow in the book. We follow the book. <laughs> we doing what the book says the same book that was there going all the way back based upon manuscript tradition it's the same book man that's what we're following exactly exactly <laughs> <laughs> so i did all that went down that long road just to show you guys that it's th this verse calls out the ones who doubt about the crucifixion event and the ones who have no knowledge about it and who just follow conjecture, rumors, theories, stuff people come up with and make up on the fly. And they just follow that stuff. I wanted to show you that it's the Muslims that fit that category, not the Christians. Okay? So that's one angle to have fun with this. Let's bring up the next person to see how this goes. How you doing, Abdul? I'm doing good. Good, good, good. How about you? I'm pretty good, my friend. Thank you for asking. Um, so I'm of the I'm of the belief, man, that I believe that Jesus was was crucified because Allah made me believe it. Is that so? Yes, sir. What do you think about that? I think that's completely false. Okay. Why? Um, because I I believe that Jesus did not die. On the cross, you can find okay. it on Anissa. Okay, and it was just made appear to them. Who made it appear to them? It was Allah. So, so Allah, Allah the reason why we believe Jesus was crucified. Well, it was not Jesus. I, I, I'm, I'm going with you. It wasn't Jesus, but Allah made us think it was Jesus, right? Yeah. So Allah's the reason why I believe in the crucifixion of Jesus. Well, um, what you believe, what you believe is false. Who created? I, I, I'm with you. If what I believe is false. Who gave me this false belief in the first place? Oh, that's what it was, Paul. It was Paul. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> okay. So, was it Paul or was it Allah who made it appear that Jesus was crucified? Well, it was Allah, but hmm. you, you know, Paul is the one that who um who who, who, who continued to... to spread the delusion that Allah gave us. Yeah, he was the one that who spread those, you know, message. Into so, it looks, so it looks like Paul was spreading the message of Allah, right? Message of Allah. It's Rasul Allah. Uh, yeah. Allah to the Christian thinking. No, no, I'm not to the Christian, to the, yeah, 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 he's a Christian. No, listen, yeah. listen. Uh, you're telling me Paul was a messenger of Allah? Peace be upon Paul. Peace be upon him. No, according to you. No, according no, to you, he's, he's following the revelation of Allah. Allah 
made us think that Jesus was crucified. Paul was being a good Jew of that time and spreading the message of Allah. Peace be upon him. Mm -hmm. Peace be upon him. Mm, no. Can you say peace be upon him too? No, because we... And no, brother, he spread the message of Allah. He he followed Allah's deception. No, he, he tried oh, please, to... Um... Please, listen. Don't mess with my prophet, okay? Can you please say peace be upon him? The shows of respect. No, because he's not my prophet. Oh, he see, is your this prophet. Is very he's your prophet. He no, spread Paul, Allah's message. No, Paul is a liar. What are you talking about? He's so, a liar. If, if, if Paul is a liar, then Allah is the liar then, right? Because he's only spreading what Allah gave him so then Allah's really the liar huh no look here's the thing Allah is the one who make it appear on the cross right but yeah, was that, Paul was that, is the one uh, who spread that um message right <laughs> like try to no so he was a messenger it's like, of Allah. Or he's, it's like Paul, Paul is the one who tried to treat Let's the Christians Paul is, the, Paul is the one. No, he was followed. He could not do. He could not do anything other than what Allah showed him. This is exactly. Rasulullah, right? I mean, exactly. Amen. Oh, it was Paul. So, so let me ask you this: Was it was it a truth or a lie that Jesus was crucified? Um, it was a lie. Who gave us that lie? Uh, it was Paul. Uh, 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 who gave us that lie, my friend? Uh, yeah, it was God. Boom. So you believe, and so now all Paul did was just continue to spread that lie that God, your God, started. No, 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 we believe, same God, buddy. Huh? No. I say we believe in same God, though. No, we don't. You believe that your God is a liar. Mine isn't. No, oh, I mean... The greatest of deceivers. No, I mean, like, Jesus is the one who prayed to the God. He prayed to no, his father. Who, he, he, uh, he prayed to his father, who is all truth, 100% honest, and does not deceive. Your God, literally, as you, by your own admission, lied, and then Paul spread that lie. If you're going to condemn Paul, you got to actually go to the source. Condemn Allah for lying. Making Paul believe oh, what he believed. So, so, so if I condemn, if I condemn my God, that means I condemn your God also. No, because that's not my God. Again, my God doesn't lie. There is no deceit in his mouth. Really? Really, really. Um, then why? Why did Jesus why did jesus why did he um pray because he's a good prophet and a loyal son to his father he will always communicate with him also Amen. you guys you guys believe that he was also a prophet yeah we just believe he was more than that not just a prophet so can you condemn allah for lying and starting this lie that we all believe now no i still think that we believe same god buddy yeah, but can you condemn Allah for lying, though? If I condemn it, I will condemn your God, too. So can you condemn Allah for lying? I mean, he lied on a good cause. Allah good. lied on a good cause. Yeah, because I, uh, as a human being, I have to lie sometimes. So I, 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 I got a question. So what, what, came, what came out? Abdul, how are you, man? I'm good. How are you, bro? I'm so good too, man. Thanks for asking. Listen, so if Allah lied and he deceived the people, okay, so whose fault is it that we are in deception believing that Aisha is Allah? Uh, I don't know. So let's run it back. So Allah caused us to believe that Aisha was crucified. Therefore, how, who's to blame for us believing that Aisa was raised from the dead and was crucified and his Messiah and all those things and gave Paul the message, peace be upon him? No, well, like I said, 
you know, she lied on good cause. So it was a good cause to get us to believe in a man God, God that God's a man? Well, it was all tests according to my belief. Hmm. Okay. I don't know, Avery, where you want to go? Where you want to go with him? <laughs> so it looks like, so let me just ask this really quick. Uh, is lying a sin? Lying? Yeah. Uh, lying is a sin. So um, but, if, um, but, you know, Muhammad told us that if we have no choice, we have to lie in, in our infidels. Yeah, that's for you. Okay. So are you saying that Allah had no choice but to lie here? Allah have a choice, but he chose to lie. Good. On a good cause. Got you. So if if you lie and you have an option where you don't have, if you lie when you don't have to, is that a sin? Well, he's the one who gave us free will, so. I know. It could give you free will to sin or free will to do good. So is it a is it a sin to lie when it's not necessary for you to lie? If you if you don't have to lie but you still lie, is that a sin? Uh, no. It's not. No, because I I lie. I lie to uh I, I lie too as we all are. You are too. Got it. We all sin you know, um according to your according to your include including Allah. Including Allah, he, he, um, so that means including your God. So Allah is also a sinner, huh? That ain't my that ain't my, so God, my God. That ain't my that ain't my God. But respectfully, mm -hmm. my friend, I gotta I'm gonna go ahead and move to the next guest because I'm I'm pretty hey. sure Muslims are gonna think that I paid you. Uh, but I never spoke to you a day in my life. I don't know you. I want the Muslims to know right now this is an authentic Muslim who believes that Allah sinned and lied and it was okay. Oh, oh wait, hold on, logic. Appreciate it. Woo! <laughs> Peace be upon the apostle prophet Rav Shaul, the rabbi I mean, from Tarsus. I mean, I mean, <laughs> Tarsus. Hunter, what you think about that, man? Man, I mean, even Muslims were kind of freaking on that one. Did he just really call Allah a sinner? Sounded like it. Yeah, that's tough. tough but I mean, th this is what this this is what this topic does. This topic is a it's a it's you know it's a it's yep. a it it takes it off, man. It takes it off with the simple like we can't even get deep into where we want to get to with this because the very base of this it's it's a it's a killer they can't get past this part <laughs> like we we want to get like we got deeper things to talk about with this right radar I, I mean i got some other stuff to get into we can't get but this one is just too good it's good mm -hmm. mm. all right well let's bring up the next person and let's see if they also admit that Allah that Allah lied how you doing, Jalil? What's up, man? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Wa man. Oh, Appreciate yes, sir. I'm doing a lot. I'm doing a lot. Appreciate that. I heard the. Uh, I listened to some of the uh, debates and arguments I have here. Um, they're very interesting, but uh, real Muslims, brother, and I'm not here to... Um, <clears throat> Talk about no somebody's a belief or anything, but real Muslims, brother, believe that um, we believe in one God and that Jesus is a pro a prophet. But you, let me just hear what y'all have to say because, like, I'm down to really answer questions and whatever you might even think, you know. Because I'll be hearing it, I'll be hearing what y'all be saying, bro, and it'd be like. Damn, y'all asking some deep questions. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all is. Yeah. Like, yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah. Muslims love Jesus. Peace be upon him. You is have this? to say, peace be upon him. Jalil, is, I mean, you don't got to say your name, but do we know each other? Because you sound, it sounds like <laughs> I know you. 
yeah, we yeah, we yeah, we 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 probably met before. You never know. No, but, uh, I I do, bro. Like, like, <laughs> you know, so real are you, Muslim. Are you, are you from the Are you from the Bay Area? Yes, I'm from the Bay Area. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Yes, I'm from the Bay Area, and I, I, I the conversations y'all have is very interesting, bro. It is because I, I understand. Now, when I say Asalam Alaikum, Alaikum Asalam, I'm doing a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I seen that y'all was bringing up the Quran and stuff, and like, yeah, about Jesus and like what happened. I was just talking to my brother about Jesus. You feel me? Because he, I, I, what I said was, Jesus, peace be upon him. You have to say that after you say his name because he was very special. Mm. You know what I'm saying? In Allah's eyes, you know, in God's eyes, Jesus was the spirit that was put into Miriam. May Allah be peace with it. That had Miriam people criticizing her, talking about we're gonna tell your father that 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 you got blessed with this child. So the reason y'all feel so good and so blessed about the reason we all we all feel like that about Jesus, peace be still a asylum, is because that was that it was God's it was like God's spirit, you know what I'm saying? So it was like Jesus, one thing about Jesus, so he was silent. He never seen. So it's right. like my we, honey, my we talked about this last time we when we met, we talked about this. Yeah. Um, but I, I want to get your view now because I mean I'm you know, I, I need I want you to get out of this darkness of Islam, bro. Like for real. I want you to come to the truth of Christ. I want okay. you to give me your 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 thoughts on about what the Quran says about the crucifixion of what we've been talking about. Uh my what I'm going with, what I've been saying is that if the crucifixion is false and a wrong belief that goes against the truth of God, the truth of Allah, Allah is the one who, who gave us this false belief in the first place that Jesus was crucified. He's the one who did it. You know, so I'll, I'll pull up the verse so that you can see it, get a good yes. look at it. Yes. Right, here it is. Hold on. Let me. Um, what surah is this? A surah is that our Anissa, our woman? Yeah, yeah. It's chapter four. Anissa surah ayah four verse four. It's verse one five seven one fifty seven chapter four verse one fifty seven. Okay. And and because of this, man, we slew the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary. And this is a good question right here. Yeah. Just I believe so know. too, man. That's why. And that's I got why an answer, answer, and I'm about to have an answer for you. Watch. All right, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna have an answer for you. I don't think there's an answer for this one, man. Inshallah, it's an answer for everything. I'm telling you. Oh, I believe see. so. The only answer to this is Islam is false. Christ is true. That's the only answer to this, man. Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah. Watch this, though, brother. Allahu Akbar. Christ, Christian, Christ, the Bible is true. And it and, and the, the, the Prophet Muhammad is the last prophet, brother. But let's see what you're talking about. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu is the last prophet. So everything that was revealed before the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu was true. The Bible. The Torah, the Injil, the Book of Psalms, and the last book, and the last prophet is the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But let's talk about Isa. Isa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May Allah be pleased with him right now, because uh, this is. A, I know y'all talk about Jesus a lot. Yeah, and I'm about I to show you. I'm about to show you a lot of stuff regarding this, the crucifixion. I'm gonna show you that all those prophets that you just named. Spoke yes. about the crucifixion of of Jesus the Messiah. Matter of, fact, matter of fact, we got we got a we got a rabbi on stage. I'll let him. He he can do that and take you through that. Break oh, okay. that down. 
you know. So yeah, I got I got him here. I got to put him to work, you know. Okay, yeah, for real. You, I you see him. I, see. Too, but I ain't heard. I ain't hear no sounds yet from I'm no. I'm doing loud. Rabbi's in the house. What's up? What's mm -hmm. up? What's up, man? So yeah. So what you want to talk about, man? <laughs> You know, you are like on the about, other side of the, you know, um, like on the other side of the fence, man. Look, let me let me break this down for you real quick. So th mm -hmm. this is the issue, right? And this is the biggest problem with all this stuff is that every person who was born has sin. You agree or don't agree? You said every person that was born has sin or can yeah. sin. Has sin. Well, I believe that every person that was born can sin. Yeah. So you don't believe that every person who was born has sinned? I don't believe that they have sinned, but they can sin because every person that was born is pure. Like from the baby's womb, or as you're talking about what like it's 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 a way you said has sin or like saying, because say possible? like you for you for you for instance, when you came out the womb, you didn't have you don't you didn't have sin, right? Me, I didn't yeah, have so, sin. So the Bible says that in iniquity I was formed, right? That mm -hmm. in a dark place, uh, a body is is conceived even even with iniquity inside of it, right? Not that the baby yeah. sins, you know. If a baby dies beyond the age of accountability, they directly go to be with the Lord. But I think all, yeah. I mean, there is no person that lives that does not sin. That's my point. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so now that you say right. that, yes, yeah. um, yes. But there, but there is one person just to clarify this with you, sir, because yeah. you said something. Yeah. Jesus, Salehu Asalam was the only person on earth that has did not commit one sin. Yeah. So you can't name is, a sin Jesus Salei was solemn committed. Yeah. So that would I make agree, him so I, special. Yeah, so you think that's... So how was it possible that Jesus could not sin? Because he was a spirit of Allah. He was so a spirit of God. For, how is it possible for a human being to be the spirit of Allah? How is it possible for, Well... Well, see, so you asking me questions that 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 basically I'm going to just answer with logic with logic. So and I was just talking to my brothers about this, bro. So um, I like I like to hear about it. So. And it was this guy I met named David last night, but I was talking to him and he said it. he's on. The, he's like, it's one side you got to choose. And I'm like, listen, if you believe, do you believe that there's a God? Do you believe in God that the yeah. creator that created the heavens and the earth? I'm asking you right yeah. now. Okay, Do I believe, if you believe there was a God? Of course. Of course. Okay. Okay. You believe in one God. Okay. So with that being said, if you believe in that, you feel me? You believe that Jesus, because Jesus was special. He was different. He was born different. Yeah, I, than I, think, I think you're missing he what I'm saying spirit. to you. How is a human being the spirit of Allah? How is the human being the spirit of Allah? Well, and then after you tell me, after you tell me how a spirit, how a human being can be the spirit of law, then I want you to explain to me how it's not shirk. Well, listen, so I I don't want to I don't want to speak on shirk or anything. I'm not trying to talk about shirk or fitna or nothing right now. And I'm not trying to say nothing in that in that nature. But what I'm saying is Jesus was committed, Jesus was put into Mary womb. And people criticized Mary for that. And she had no sex like other people that were born. Yeah. So Jesus was created different. So this is how Jesus didn't, I feel like Jesus didn't sin because he was born different. And guess what? How many toddlers you knew talked as a kid that told them, hey, I'm a messenger of God. So let me let me explain it to you a little bit, a little bit more. I want to go to a, a Hebrew Bible passage. I want to show you something that shows that a little bit more the complexity of of the spirit of God, right? So we go to Genesis 15, right? The word of God, and, and you can probably, let me share my screen real quick. I want to show you this passage because I think it's important for you to look at this. Um, that Jesus is not just the, uh, is not just the uh, spirit of Allah, right? But he's also the word of God, right? You must have believed that, Avery. That Jesus is the word of Allah? They sure do. You said the right? Muslims believe that Jesus is the word of Allah? Yeah. Do you well, believe that um, Jesus is the word of Allah? I believe in anything that Allah prophets reveal. All right. So let me, let me show you this passage real quick that comes from the book of Genesis inside the Torah. 
that you're obligated to judge the Quran by to make sure if it's true. After these things, this is what Abraham, Ibrahim, right? In the beginning, right? After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision saying, isn't this a crazy passage? That the word of the Lord that's separate from the Lord comes and speaks. And look at what it says. Do not fear, Abram. I am a shield to you. Your reward shall be very great. Abram calls this word, O Lord, yod heh vav -Heh. By the divine name, Yahweh. What do you think about that? <clears throat> I think it's a verse of, of God. Hey, See, I, I, I really, it's no, it's no comparison or no debating. Um, no, this is the word of the Lord, which you would consider yeah, the word it's of the Allah. Torah. It's the Torah, Coming right? Speaking. No, you said the word of Allah is Jesus. No, no, I didn't listen. No, I, I said no. I said no. I didn't. And I knew it. A lot word. A lot is. is hold on. No, yep, I didn't it. say that. I didn't say that. Listen, hold on. But Correct hold on, me if no, I hold on for a second. Avery, no, it's not that you said it, but I'm saying we brought that down as a okay. as a proof text that the word of Allah is Jesus, right? According to the Quran, right? Okay. That is what correct. is that, Avery? Avery knows it. What eye is that? That's chapter uh, four. Yeah, that's what he was supposed to show me, the ayah. He went to Surah 4, and then you oh. came about. I was ready for that, too. All right, so let's go to the ayah. So what is it? Four, yeah, let's it? go to the Maybe? ayah. Let's go to Surah 4, because I just want to... Let me just say this, too, sir, before while we while we get to the ayah. 4171. 4171. All right, so let's go to 4171. All right, we're in the Quran. All right, oh, followers of the book, do not exceed the limits in your religion, and do not speak lies against Allah, but speak the truth. The Messiah, Aisha, son of Maryam, is only a messenger of Allah, and his word, which he communicated to Maryam and a spirit from him. Believe, therefore, in Allah and his messengers, right? So mm -hmm. Jesus, Aisha, is a messenger and the word of Allah. And I'm going to take you back to the Torah. This is the first book of the Bible. The word of the Lord, you would consider it the word of Allah, comes to Abram in a vision. It speaks to him right? As an entity. Mm -hmm. And then Abram calls the word of the Lord, yod heh vav -Heh, by the divine name of God. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying now. Um, you know if you want to put it in text like that, well, you could say, if you want to think like, that, yes, Jesus, what, what Jesus said, uh, what, what Jesus was a messenger. Yes, he was a messenger of Allah. What he said Fine. was directly from Allah. Basically, yes. So, so whatever it was okay he, for Ibrahim, what he said was, it was directly from Allah. Fire. So it's okay for Ibrahim to call. He was a messenger. Call, was a messenger. Okay for, is it okay for Ibrahim to call Aisha Yahweh? To call who Yahweh? Jesus. Ibrahim, um, Abraham, Abraham said, "Oh Lord God, what yep. will He's you give me? Word. Since I am childless." Yeah. This okay, is the name so Abraham Yahweh. says. This okay, is Yahweh Abraham was asking Yahweh. Allah for something. Okay, so yeah. Abraham was asking Allah for something. Who's he talking here, to? Here? He's talking to Allah. No, the God. word, the word of Allah came. Who's the word of Allah? You said what? Who's the word? You got a lot of crunching, bro. I don't know if you got barbecue chips or whatever. But who's the word of Allah? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, so Allah, okay, look. Who's he the word of Allah? Word. Okay, okay, okay. It's, listen, Allah, listen. Let me just brother, tell you this, bro. Just rock with me. Just rock with me. Who's the word of Allah? I can't, uh, brother. I can't say what you want me to say, but I can say I'll, this: I'll tell you, look, the I'll word tell of you, Allah look. is Allah, brother. Look, that's the word of Allah. Look, this was revealed does, before Jesus, brother. What does, what does the Quran say? The Quran says that Jesus, the Son of Mary, is a messenger, and His word that Jesus is the word of Allah. So here, let's just replace word of the Lord with okay. Jesus, the way the Quran tells us to. After these things, Jesus, Jesus came to Abraham in a vision, saying, I am a shield to you. Your reward shall be very great. And then Abraham says, in a conversation with Jesus, O Lord, Yahweh, Yadhe what will you give me since I'm childless? And then you might be saying, oh, you know, the word of God left. No, the word of the Lord keeps talking to him saying this man will not be your heir, but one who will come forth from your body. When Abram is talking to the word of the Lord, 
Yod Hey Vav Hey by the divine name. He, he's talking to Jesus. He refers to him as Yod Hey Vav Hey, the divine name of the Creator, the God of Bnei Yisrael. Okay. Okay. So, so what 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 are you getting? What are you trying to get here? So my, my, is is Abraham a prophet to you? Yes, Abraham is a prophet. Is it good to follow Abraham's He's footsteps? Quran. I could go get my Quran right now and bring I, up Abraham. Okay, you, don't yes, have to, you don't have to. You don't have to. I believe you. Abraham is a prophet, right? Is it good to follow the traditions, the sunnahs of the different prophets? Is it good to follow in the footsteps of the prophets? It's good to follow in the footsteps. It's good to follow the hadith, the authentic hadith, the sunnahs, the sahih. The it's good to the following the footsteps of the prophets. Of okay, the prophets. so Abraham was Abraham a good man? Was Abraham, so, okay, so, Abraham was a prophet, bro? Whatever he okay, revealed, so he, he went. That's, he, that's listen, fire. Abraham once when I was just talking about this with my brothers, he went against his father. Yo, that's, that's why fire. in his life, you shouldn't let your your parents cannot even no, lead you astray. Sure. Yo, and the, look, you I think I think Abraham's admirable, bro. I mean, I, I I would love to follow after Abraham's footsteps. You too, right? Yeah, Stand you follow certain right? things of Abraham. Yes, you Amen. follow. Amen. Yeah. Cool. So can you? So like Abraham, can you call Jesus Yahweh? If Abraham said that, hey, if that's authentic, if that's authentic Torah, it's yeah. it's it's, it's right. words, man. Cool. It's, so it's, yeah. So all right. We got it then. It, it's according to if it's pure. Yes, bro. You gotta have to believe that. To okay. Well, it is pure. I can show you Torahs that predate Muhammad by many, many years. I can show you Torah texts right now yes. in the Dead Sea Scrolls that predate. Show me Muhammad that right now. That predate Muhammad. That shows me Muhammad. I'll show you right now. No, because what? No. somebody hold never on, showed me that. that. Hold on, hold on. What I can show you the manuscripts that predate Muhammad. We have the Dead Sea Scrolls that predate it. I can show you the Dead Sea Scroll Library. I can show you the manuscripts. So what I'm saying is we have Dead Sea Scroll Torah manuscripts that predate Muhammad. This is authentic. Mm -hmm. Abraham mm -hmm. called Jesus, who was the word of yod heh -Vav -Heh, the word of Yahweh. He called him Yahweh himself. So you should be able to do it too in order to be a good Muslim, but you have to follow the prophets. <laughs> is that what you're trying to say, sir? I follow the Quran. The last right, book. So, so now, so now, let me say something to you, Mister. You, 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 you're a rabbi. So look, you're a rabbi. You're a rabbi, brother. So listen. Talk to me. The Quran is the last testament nah, that was revealed said, brother. to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He's the last mean, prophet. That, this is what the you're missing. Muhammad brother. is the last this prophet. This is what you're Jesus, missing. What am I Je missing, Jesus? Jesus is Jesus is the creator of the universe out of the mouth of Abraham because he calls him Yod -Heh -Heh. Okay, so I never now with that ideology and you thinking like that, sir. That's something that I can't agree with because you're one of the first people who ever even said that Jesus created this earth. God created this earth. It's only one guy yeah. who, if Jesus is not now, now, that's a good, now that's a good, now let me ask you a question. Hold on, no, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a question. A time. You're bouncing a lot. Go ahead. Oh, okay. So you said Jesus created this world. Yeah, he did. If, if So who is God? It say like God, God created is the one who created it all. Yes, go, God go, created it. Go, go, go to Luke. Oh, hold on go to Luke. No, no, listen, we can't be going around to other places. Stick for one point. Mm -hmm. I showed you in the Quran where it says that Jesus is the word of Allah. And then I also showed you in the in the in the book of Genesis where Abraham referred to the word of Allah as Yahweh. Therefore, Yahweh and is the God creator the of word the universe. Of Allah. Let's say the word of Allah, right? That's what it said in word Genesis 15. Word. It said the word in Genesis 15. No, 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 no. Hold on for a second. Let's look at this passage real quick. Genesis 15, 1, okay? After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision, and it spoke. It didn't say these are the words that came to Abram in a vision. No, the word as an entity is performing the verb of speaking. And when Abraham is talking to the word of the Lord, he refers to him as yod heh by the divine name from Exodus 3.
Okay. I hear what therefore, you're I would say you. Uh, therefore, I would and Yahweh Yadhevave is the creator of the universe. Therefore, I believe that you, as a Muslim and a follower of the Quran, needing to lean back on the Torah, have to believe that Jesus is the uncreated creator of the universe. Needing to lean back on the Torah. Um, I believe that as a Muslim brother, that there's four books. Do you believe it? So listen. No, you have to address what I'm saying. You're not addressing what I'm saying. You have to address what I'm saying. It's like I bring okay. something to you. You're, you say, you're I talked to my cousin saying, about this two days ago. Okay, you you basically say, asking me, did Abraham say that Jesus is God? No, I'm saying the Quran says that the yeah. word that Jesus is the word of Allah. In the Bible, it says that the word of God that came to Abram, he refers to as Yahweh. Okay. And what I'm saying is God. Right? Am I wrong? So, Abram, am I wrong? You're correct. Uh, hold on. Look, just though, but I'm asking, listen, I'm saying that God is the first, God is God, bro, the creator. Brother, you got to address what I'm about, saying. Before we just I move on. I mean, hey, we show what? I'm address, yeah, let's, just, yeah, because it's like, well, you saying something, but it's it, it's not it's not really making. I'm I'm just Give telling you the final. This is the Torah you're bringing up, sir. You bringing yeah, up the, the Torah. Torah. Is what you need to, the Torah is what you need to rely on, right? You need to no, judge the Torah, the Torah based upon the Torah and the Angel. The Torah look, is five exactly. books. The Torah so, and we have Torah, them. We have them. Hold on, let, let me just let me jump in here, fellas. So, get get here's something that's important for for this. The important right. part about this. Let's, uh, yeah, let's really talk. Let's, well, let's really talk about what y'all was talking about last time. Yeah, the the important part about this is that the Quran says that it confirms, right? So everything that the Torah says, the Quran is supposed to be in line with. You know that's why this is important. So okay. When the Torah is saying that the word is God himself, right, which we also know the word to be Jesus, that means that according to the Torah, Jesus is God himself. You know what I'm saying? So the Quran is supposed to line up with that. If it doesn't, then the Quran would be false. Mm, okay. So in... Uh, do they have Luke in here? Luke 7, 18, 17, 18? Where's, 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 the, where, book where, Luke, where's the book where, of Luke where, located in the Bible? I just I just don't understand. What, is, what does Luke have to do with what we just said, my friend? I don't know. Genesis because 15. Luke, Jesus said, yeah, Genesis, yeah, alhamdulillah, bro. I'm not debating nothing y'all saying about the Torah or what's, what it's saying. But what so I'm Jesus saying is... is Yahweh. It's, it's so Jesus is Yahweh. It, Can I... I Listen, I'm not saying. Listen, Jesus. I don't. You, Jesus is Jesus. Peace be upon him. His name is Isa in Arabia, bro. You know that. His name is Isa. No, I don't know that. No, I don't know that. Aramaic, Aramaic, and Sur Arabic. Sur are four. Y'all went to Sura four. Y'all went to the Quran and never read the the, the ayah, brother. Yeah. Like y'all asking me about it, who is Jesus, and it's like y'all showing me something that was. This was the Torah. Was the first book Allah created. So y'all so said Jesus created the Quran. So did Jesus create the Quran then? Yes or no? It's it's okay, man. Let's let's get to something simple. Uh, let's, did let's Jesus create the Quran? Yes or no? That's now a good point, question. The point of this is that the Quran is a false book, bro. That's the whole point. The point okay. is, is that the Quran is a false man-made book. That, oh, that wow. contradicts the previous scriptures. It contradicts the Torah. It contradicts the Psalm. <laughs> it contradicts the gospel. That's the point. And yet it confirms it. it so it can't be from God. You know, it can't be from God if it's contradicting all of the prophets. You get what I'm saying? Yes, I hear what you're saying. So that's that's <laughs> our that's our point here. Well, as a Muslim man, um, what I'm saying, sir, is that. We believe, and he brought up the Torah. Yes, we believe in the Torah. Yes, we believe in the Angel. Yes, we believe in the Book of David, the Book of Psalms. Yes, the last, we just believe that the last book, the last book was revealed and the last prophet was revealed to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and that was the Quran through the angel Gabriel. 
that's it. We believe in all the prophets. And we believe all the, every, all the prophets and all the books that was revealed believe in a day of judgment, day of resurrection. And we believe oh, in it, Jesus. Because y'all bring up a lot of things about Jesus, like Muslims don't respect Jesus, but we, we, we do. Know, we know what you believe as a Muslim. You don't have to tell us this. We know what you believe. You understand what I'm saying? We know what you believe. This is our point. That what you believe in Islam goes, uh, even though you say that you that you believe in the books, you your religion contradicts the books. You like so, for example, let, let's just go with what we were talking about today. According to the Quran, was Jesus crucified? Thank you for bringing that up because that's what I heard on the last one. On the last thing. So now, now we getting back to it. Now we talking about what we want to talk about. Yeah, and so was, Jesus, he was, was, he, was, he was not, it was a lookalike. Right. It was a so lookalike. So he was not like Jesus. I got you. And, I got you. And I lied oh, to yeah. Jesus. I got you. So, so, he, so he was not crucified according to your Quran and your beliefs. Well, according to the gospel, and according to the prophets, the Messiah is crucified. So the Quran contradicts the gospel, the Psalms, and the Torah about the Messiah being crucified. So let me tell you something. So the some of the scriptures has been tampered with, brother. The Quran is something you can never tamper with. You can't tamper with Arabia. So oh, here we go. It hasn't been tampered, brother. What, what like you you you, I, you cherish the Quran, right? You cherish I the Quran, it. right? You cherish, cherish the Quran. Everything Allah created. Okay. In I chapter in chapter 18, verse 27, your Quran says that none of Allah's words can be changed. It can't be corrupted. Yes. So that means that the Torah, the gospel, the Psalms, all the writings of the prophets could not have been corrupted since those are Allah's words. But they were. So that means that the Quran is false then. Yeah. No, 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 it doesn't. Yeah. Because the people, <laughs> the, the, so the Quran isn't false because it's the, how is the Quran false when the Quran, so, are y'all Christians? Jaleel, oh, yeah, Christian. You, know, you know we are. The point is, is oh, that okay. if, you're, if your Quran Brother, says, Brother, look, look can't be if, the, if the Quran says none of Allah's words can be corrupted, that means that that includes the previous scriptures. But you say, oh, actually, they were corrupted. That means that the Quran was false when it said that none of his words can be corrupted. That proves the Quran to be a false book. It no, wasn't sure. telling the truth. No, sir. Issue of refutation, can, bro. You have to can read I ask, every can I ask a question. This is the last revelation. So, as a Christian, uh, brother, yes. can I ask you a should read the full Quran. Yes, you can ask me a question, but you should read a full, full Quran because it's a book of God, bro. Okay. This, this is so I do y'all believe weird. Jesus created the Quran? So basically, y'all said that is man made. This, this How's the Quran? Move to the next person. Uh, we gotta okay. Ask me the question. Now I was just going to ask if the Quran, if Allah's words cannot be corrupted, and the Quran confirms the previous scriptures as Allah's words, and the Quran says it can't be corrupted, but you say it's corrupted, who's more reliable according to you, the Quran or your back that you're eating right now that's really crunchy? I'm just playing. Or the Quran <laughs> or yourself? Wait. I, for all the like, viewers on here and me, I never said nothing bad about the Quran or nothing being corrupted. So the who's telling the truth? Allah the words are pure. You? Okay, I believe so in I, I believe whatever Allah so, revealed. Right. So Allah revealed. And I'm telling you all that the, the Torah is first, on, Jilla, but the Quran is quick, last. Right? But Bajila, hear me out real quick. The Quran okay. says previous scripture is Allah's words. You're saying previous yeah. scripture was corrupted. Allah himself, according to the Quran, says it can be corrupted. So who's correct? You or the Quran? Because you're contradicting each other. Well, I don't mean to contradict, brother. I just know that there's a difference between a believer and an unbeliever, sir. And 
it's like so you would be considered you know, an unbeliever now because you're contradicting no, the Quran. I'm, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm a believer. I believe in every, even right. even look even what y'all just showed me Genesis. I believe in that, but I gotta. I'm not saying y'all wrong or nothing, but y'all. I'm saying that y'all should believe in the Quran too. All right. Yeah. So you believe hey, Jesus hey, Yahweh? Yeah. Th thanks for coming. Okay, hold on. Wait, look. Hold on. Hold on. God logic. Hold on. God logic. But look hey, though, to, hey, to the hey, rabbi, you keep. So you said that if God, if Jesus is God, no, no, bro, this, you the this, person this, who said hey, that. Bro, bro, bro. I got. I got to get to the next person. I got to. Jesus, if Jesus, God, who created the Quran. Appreciate you, Broco. You know, you, you know, we're welcome. I, I, I want to see you again next time I'm in the Bay Area. Uh, but got to get to the next person, my guy. All right, Malik, how you doing, man? Good, good. You sure? What's up? You so you said to bring up somebody more knowledgeable. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm not necessarily saying I'm the more knowledgeable one, but he brother was all over the place with all due respect, you know. So I think, yeah. Okay. And, and, and the, the last question you asked them, I already posted something on it. When they say Allah's words cannot be corrupted, mm -hmm. it don't mean the written words. It just mm -hmm. means the truth cannot be corrupted. That okay. The revelations of Allah cannot be corrupted. So, the, so can we trust the books that have been handed down to us or not? In as much as there are not corrupted as they have not been tampered with okay gotcha all right so we got um what i've been presenting today is the reason why i believe in the crucifixion mm -hmm. and according to the quran the reason why i believe in the crucifixion is because allah made me believe it so what are your thoughts on that allah made you believe it or Allah, you actually do disbelieve the the islamic version of no, I, I, I believe I, I believe in the crucifixion, but I the the reason why I believe it is because Allah made me believe it. Oh, okay, all right. So I get it in a roundabout way. That's what you're saying. Well, in that instance, it'll be a matter of faith and understanding. So I wouldn't necessarily dis, dis um, approve of your belief even though I necessarily don't believe in it because I believe what the Quran tells me of what happens. And I think uh, God did hold Isa, Jesus in very high esteem and would not put him in a situation, excuse me, would not put him in a situation where man will be able to kill him because he was that special to Allah. I mean, and, the well, I, I'm confused on that because, like, Jesus is a prophet, you know, according to the to the Quran, and the Quran says that Allah doesn't make any distinction between his prophets, right? Allah does not make, well, you can't say he does not make distinctions. The, the ways of God, let, let, me, let me say something. I think what a lot of people mistake in is they do not understand and they do not grasp the concept of a supreme being. So it is, it behooves a lot of people to think that, you know, there's this character up there that we all believe is our creator that can do and undo as he wishes. And when he does certain things, if you try to take a human element of thinking to it, I think it'll, it'll totally skew and screw people's understanding of the messages. And this is why I think a lot of us human beings come to loggerheads and I don't understand what you're saying here. And you don't understand what I'm saying here. Why would Jesus, why would Allah um, take Jesus as this special being? And why would he put this person in this position while he's saying all his prophets are the same? You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, I mean, because I mean, that's what he that's what he says. It's, it's chapter two, verse uh, 285. He says, we make no distinction between any of his messengers. So no, no what you're telling me is that they're actually Allah does make a distinction between Jesus and the rest of the messengers. He's well, the I, I think it, you have to look at context. I will have to go. I am not um, an Islamic scholar. I do mm. know a bit about it. I practice it religiously. 
I'm not mm. a Ramadan Muslim, you know, so I do practice. Um, <laughs> not a Ramadan Muslim? <laughs> no, I'm not a Ramadan Muslim. Yeah, I do. I like, do. Like them, like them Easter Christians, they only go to church yeah, on, there you on go. Easter yeah. Sunday. <laughs> so, <laughs> alhamdulillah, you know, I try my best. I'm not perfect, mm. but I do practice yeah. my religion religiously. And I'll say in, in terms of the distinction, the context matters. So I will have to go look at what he was talking about a lot this is in, in that context but, yeah, but in terms, because you cannot say well just because he made jesus a certain way or gave certain favors to for example i'll give i'll give you an example for example prophet Sulaiman, solomon right allah gave solomon the only he was the only one the only one that gave the ability to be able to communicate with animals and the gents it never gave anybody else that power. Now, our prophets, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, at some point when he was observing Salat, the jinn came to him and was trying to antagonize him and he snapped the jinn. Now, again, this is our belief. This is part of- that, That's what I'm trying to, like, how, how does that How does that? Well, tie I, I'm trying to explain, I'm trying to get there. So okay. he grabbed the jinn, right? He grabbed the jinn and he said, according to the hadith, he could have exposed the jinn and had tied him up and had the kids whip him and expose him in his true shape or form. But he remembered the 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 oath that Allah, the favor that Allah gave to Sulaiman, which is he will be the only one that has the power to control jinns, and he never did that. So that's what I'm saying. There, if you look at the context. Of distinction, so, in, in, when you I'm describe sorry. distinction, you have to look at it in context. You can't just say, "Well, he created Jesus this way," or he did not. So basically, out. so basically, just to just to get straight to it, right? According to Allah, no prophet is valued more than another. None of his messengers are valued above the other. Is that correct? If Can that's what it says in the Quran, I would agree to that. Yes. Yeah, because it says we make no distinction between any of his messengers. Yes. So just to keep mm -hmm. it simple. Neither yeah. of them are valued more than another. So if Allah and, and Allah does let his messengers get killed, he does. Like, like in, in chapter four, I think it's verse 156. It's it, you know, Allah is admonishing the Jews saying, You killed your prophets. You know, I mean, as a Christian, you would also believe the same thing. Yes, I do. So, uh -huh. so I I don't think that God would, you know, uh prevent, you know jesus or any of the prophets from dying because that's you know he he allows that to happen in well the if there was a greater plan he would just like you believe that he got killed for a reason so just the same way we do not agree that we, we, we do not accept that jesus got killed that the same way you believe there was a greater cause and there was a greater reason and that was why he allowed jesus well to no I, I like i said before i believe that jesus got killed because allah made it made it appear that jesus got killed that's why i believe it i believe jesus got killed because allah made me believe this i have no choice yeah but we're talking about distinction now so we've we've no, no, passed no, no, the no, stage no, of no, your no. beliefs yeah we, we yeah, already yeah, agreed i started off no, no no yeah i started off by this is how i started off but the whole point here was that i believe that jesus died by crucifixion because allah made me believe it Per your Quran, the Quran says that, you know. Okay. So my my thing is the this you would say that this is a false belief, right? That Jesus died by crucifixion. That this is a false belief. Yes. So I wouldn't I'll, say false. I would say misunderstood. I, it's either he was crucified or he wasn't, my friend. He wasn't. So, okay. so you said other, you said no, false, I, false, yeah. with, no false within fair. It, so it would be coming. No, 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 no. False with and fair that it, it would come across as derogatory. So it is derogatory. It, exactly. It is. So that is the same what false. Same false. Or oh, trying to say, I'm, I'm. What I'm saying is, it, 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 it was misunderstood. Well, we got, we got to be real. Like I, I, I know these things may not be, you know, sometimes comfortable for everyone to say, but it is what it. Like we got to be real. You know, it is what it is. It's either a true. No, it's a comfortable or it's a subject for me. It's not uncomfortable so, at all. 
Well, yeah. So it, it's either a true belief or it's a false belief. And so according to your according to your religion, mm -hmm. Jesus did not die by crucifixion. So whoever believes that Jesus died by crucifixion has a false belief. They're wrong. Misunderstood. They okay. have a mis misunderstanding of the events that happened. You know, there's there's yeah, a yeah, difference yeah. between knowing the truth. The so the right. So the misunderstandings are falsehoods, right? They're not true. They're not true, not right? necessarily. You can misunderstand something without the intention of being and a you, liar. Can you, can you misunderstand something and still be and still have the truth? Like you can misunderstand something without an intention of lying or proof not talking about it be, or, 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 or implying not, false. Not about it. So falsehood doesn't show uh, lying or anything like that. I can false. have, like for example, I can believe that one plus one equals three. Okay, that's a false. Yeah. That's that's a that's false. That, that could be I'm misunderstood, lying, right? That yeah, could be misunderstood false, without right? you having yeah, you could not, you you tough. probably don't have an intention to lie. Like we we can we arguing now on what false means now with no no because listen crazy. falsehood this is not this is what it's wild, misunderstand bro. It's wild. something this there's wild. no standard there's no standard with Muslims anymore this is the yeah. problem right there's no meaning. Yeah, you go you go to the Quran and then you say hey the Quran tells us to look at the Torah and the Injil they say what's the Injil the Injil is an Arabic no, word you, 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 you oh, like you Malik 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 what does yes. your name mean what does your name mean it's a hey, bro. It's it's there in the Quran, man. You, you know it. What does your name mean? What language you is your name? You know what it means. It's Arabic. What language is your name? It's, it's Arabic. Arabic. Mm -hmm. What's older, Arabic or Hebrew? Hebrew, obviously. What does your name mean? You know what it means. We're not gonna. What does it mean? Answers. I'm you asking. Know what, what does your name mean? mean? So you have bro, a you name. What... You don't know what it means. I'll tell I, you. Why would I know what my name means? I, how, how, I don't think you know what your name means. What does your name mean? You know what it means. So uh, this, is, this is what I'm saying. Okay. Well, like, it's I'm the I'm way just, you guys I'm carry probably have to move on to the next person. Man, but yeah, let me just say this one thing. Man. Let me just say one th let me just say one thing to him real quick before you drop okay. him, all right? If I could. So you're actually using Hebrew forms of names and you're claiming that it comes from Arabic, not knowing that the original inspiration was actually given in Hebrew and you don't trust it. But your parents still use Arabic names to give their children. Well, I never these Hebrew said names, that. Not these Arabic names. They're Hebrew names. It's a Hebrew name. It's either Malik for king or Melech for messenger. Melech no, for king or Malach for messenger. Listen, that's the only two meanings it can have. Melech or Malach. It is. Now we're switching topics. Okay. Now we're going from. We're, we're showing that you have no grounds to stand on because the Quran is no, false, no, no. Muhammad is a false prophet, and you need to judge by the Torah and the Injil, and you don't want to do that. That's why we're arguing about what false is, because there's no standard. Words have no meaning with Muslims now. Yeah. Why well, doesn't it have a, have, a, have a standard? If you ask me what, what is falsity, it, it is not necessarily false. Me accusing you of being false would be derogatory, and I'm not prepared to do that. I have a, how, about, how about we take away the word false? Can you go with wrong? Is wrong okay for you? Wrong could be acceptable, but I'm not still going to go with wrong. I will. Sorry. How you doing, uh, Osman? Can't, I can't. I can't. No, 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 you know, I can't do it. You guys, you guys are on another level. Islam, man. It's Islam. Words Hail Marys. It's the Hail Marys. Words have no meaning. <laughs> Usman, how are you? Good, good. You hear me? I can hear you just fine. Yeah, I don't speak English very good, but uh, I can try my best. Huh? Okay. So I'm saying that, that I believe that Jesus died by crucifixion. And I believe that because Allah made me believe that. What do you think of that? Excuse me, can you repeat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that Allah made me believe that Jesus died on the cross. Uh, okay, I understand. You mean like uh, <clears throat> we believe, uh, actually Muslim, we believe uh, he didn't die on the cross. But uh, actually you believe because... Uh, I know that uh, the gospel uh, aren't written like they are inspired by God, but uh, they are not the word of God. I know. Yeah. And uh, they are like early, before Islam, there were reports that uh, Christ, uh, Jesus wasn't crucified. 
That's not what I'm talking about, my friend. I am talking about the fact that I believe that Jesus died on the cross because Allah made me believe it. Yeah, because Allah said uh, the Quran, uh, he made appear to. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but uh, if you use your, your logic, like you are got logic, you know, if you use your logic and uh, understand and uh, use reason, uh, you can't. It's not important, like, if Jesus got on the, died on the cross or not, because uh, if you believe Jesus died on the cross and uh, you're, uh, uh, like, a real Christian, like a uh, follower of Jesus, no problem, but if you believe like he died for our sins and he a God, that is a problem. Well, that's that's why that's what I believe because you know when Allah made me believe that Jesus was crucified, I I you know I believe that he was crucified for my sins, like he said he was going to be. And so like, when Allah made that appear to happen, that's what that's I'm stuck. I I can't fight against Allah. What Allah's delusion, you know, I can't fight against it. I can't as much logic and God logic as I want to lean on. I can't. There's there's not enough logic in my human brain that can outwit or can outsmart God Himself, who gives me a delusion, right? Yeah. Like I said, uh, uh, the problem is not in the crucifixion. The problem is what you put in the crucifixion, you know, like. Uh, like uh, he died for our sins. Yes, like uh, if you read the Gospels, you know, I'm not, uh, I don't want to use the Gospel because uh, that is not with the, we believe it's uh, uh, the word of uh, Jesus. But uh, if you read the Gospels, like uh, in, I think in Mark, like uh, when you read, uh, you don't find uh, this idea exactly like Jesus is going to die for our sins. So the problem is not the crucifixion. You, the problem is the the. Do you think that it's okay that um that Allah gave me a false belief? He didn't give you the false belief. It's it's what you put in the belief. You know, uh, he didn't give you a false belief because. If you like, if you are a true follower of Jesus and you believe like Jesus died in the crucifixion, no problem with that, you know. Is it but, true? Uh, it, Is it true? It doesn't matter if it's true or not. Well, that's what I'm asking. Is it true that Jesus died on the cross, or is it false that he died on the cross? No, he didn't die on the cross. So it's false that he died on the cross, correct? Yes, he didn't die on the cross. All right. So Allah gave me this false belief. That Jesus died on the cross, is that okay? Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you give the false police or not. You know, if what you, if you, if it's what you understand, it's what you saw, it's what you understand. You know, but Allah didn't give the false belief, like you are saying. You, know? you mean he didn't give the false belief? He did. You just said he did. Like, I didn't mean that he gave you the full breeze, but uh, he made appear to like Jesus died on the cross. And did he die on the cross? No, I didn't. So he gave a false belief. Yeah, you can call it that. Right. And so when you make someone or cause someone to believe in something that is false, that's called a lie, isn't it? Uh, you know... Uh, uh, let me correct myself. Huh? Like what Allah did, it, uh, like uh, he made to appear to them, to the people, you know, to save Jesus from the crucifixion. Okay? Mm -hmm. So Jesus dying on the cross is not right. It's not true. It's not what happened. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But some people believe it that he died on the cross. And the other didn't believe in that he died on the cross. No, er no, everyone believed that he died on the cross. No, not everyone, because I have uh, we have reports before Islam that uh, some some agnostic uh, Christian believed that uh, Jesus didn't die on the cross. No, well, they believe. Go ahead. Yes. 
You're referring, to, by the way, to the Ebionites. Ebionites were two centuries after Jesus. But the reason why they believed he wasn't crucified was because he wasn't an actual physical being. He thought they believed being Gnostics, they were just, he was just a spiritual being. So, Excuse me? You he was a spiritual being? They only believed Jesus was only spiritual, not physical. So you, they wouldn't, you wouldn't even be in agreement with them. Because the reason why they thought he wasn't crucified was because he was just a spiritual being, or a spiritual being not a physical flesh. So, so the they believe. So they, yeah, so they believe that the flesh. They believe that the flesh of Jesus did was crucified, but that he separated himself from the flesh at that moment. Is that correct? The Gnostics, hunters. Yeah, you asking me? The Ebionites. They didn't believe he was uh, of flesh at all. If he was just purely spiritual. That's so that's yeah. why they believed he was never crucified. Right. And what was no, that? No, flesh? No. They did believe like they, they believed that he was something walking around. What did they believe about that flesh meat sack that he was walking around in? You know? Yep. Yeah. So they just don't believe that that was him. Right. Authentically. So. Yeah, no, so I don't, don't think that. No, no. So Not all the Ebionites. The Ebionites were there before. Uh, the Ebionites were there uh, at the time of James. You know they they are like separate uh, ebonites. Like they were ebonites that are, uh, are believed on the so crucifixion. Speaking, speaking about the ebonites doesn't help me here. The I virgin birth, believe, but no, they I, I, were ebonites who I believed believe in, in, the, a, in the virgin birth. Allah gave me a false like we have uh, ebonites like uh, I, I I forgot. Can you, can you hear me, Osman? Can you hear me? The Ebionites don't matter here. Uh, Allah gave they, me a false belief. Yep, they came way later. So all, everybody, when Jesus was crucified, everybody, when Jesus was crucified, believed he was crucified and died. Nobody until centuries later believed that he wasn't crucified. And it's not even for like the reason in, in Islam or anything. Uh, the multiple differences that Muslims defer on that they can't even agree on. It's like everybody across the board believed he was crucified and he died everybody shut that down <laughs> oh. yeah i think we lost him it's okay I'll, i can move on to the next person this is a crazy one today avery yeah <laughs> it's because it's because i'm here i bring i bring that kind of look here so is, is that my what bad. it is my bad hey listen we know that that one brother said it is okay for him as a Muslim to refer to Jesus as Yahweh. We did we did hear that one, right? Yep. If you're not a Muslim, please do not hit the link. The link says Muslims only. If you are not a Muslim, do not hit the link. No in-betweeners. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Muhammad Manasir, how you doing, bro? Muhammad. All right. Let's see. Here. Allah White. Allah Allah White. Alawite, you're muted, man. Next, hey, assalamu alaikum. How are you? Wa alaikum salam. What's up? Right. All of you, how are you? Fine, doing, doing good, trying to relieve our stress. Um, man. Here, I hear an we're argument which proves. I have an argument which proves that Jesus didn't didn't die, logically. Okay, well, that, that's that's fine. Uh, look, I, I'm so not even arguing. First of all, that. first of all, I'm I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing that. Ahmed. I'm not arguing that. I I mm -hmm. my argument is right now, is that first of all, let, listen let, to let, me. Let, listen let's to say, me. Let's say, let's say that Jesus didn't die on the cross. Let's say that it's false that he died. Just my listen to me, bro. Listen to me. Hold on, hold on, let me finish. My point okay, is, okay. is that. I believe that Jesus, this false belief that Jesus died 
on the cross because Allah made me believe this false belief. That's my argument. Talk. Just listen to me. Uh, my internet, there's some issue with my internet, but you don't have to remove me, okay? Are you back? Hey, hello? You don't have to remove me, okay? Can you hear us? Hello? Yeah, I do have to remove you. Muhammad, you're back. Hello. All right, Hello. there you go. Hello there. What's up? Hello? <laughs> What's going on me? today? Can you hear me? Yeah, yep, we can hear you. Can you hear us? Hello? Hello? I hear you. All right. Let's try somebody else. Hey, guys, make sure that your connection is uh, working. Because I'm not... You know, with that, with how these conversations have gone, I really don't have the patience for bad internet and bad mics. So make sure before you come and hit the link that your connection is good and that your mic works. If it doesn't, you're not coming up. Also, make sure you guys hit that like button too while you're at it. Help us out. Cheer, cheer Radar up, man, because he's annoyed with these guys. So cheer him up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. It, it's wild today. It's, it's wild like it's today. like you it's like you trying to cook and the chicken keep jumping out the pot. Can't even cook, can't even cook it. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to cook everything keep falling all over the place. I can't even cook it. So you better, you better hop in that pot, you little chicken nugget. <laughs> hey, I, how you doing? Guys, there should be 2,000 likes on this video, man. There's 2,000 people watching. There should be 2,000 likes, even if you're a Mohammedan. Hit that like button, man. Support your Mohammedan brothers and sisters. That'd be you know coming up and getting cooked. They shout. Like your brother yeah. said, Jesus is Yahweh. Give it a like. Give it a yeah. like, man. Just like your, brother, like your other brother said, Allah lied to us. So give him a <laughs> like, man. That's for sure getting clipped. It's beautiful. <laughs> Can't wait to make that short. That's going to uh, be good. Yeah. AI, AIIA. All right. <clears throat> Ismaila, you're up. Yeah, hello. What up, what up? Hello. Um, I just want to add upon what somebody said earlier. I want you to comment on on what I'm concerning saying. why you think uh, that it was Allah who made you to believe the crucifixion. Well, everybody, all the Muslims are saying that Allah is the one who did it. No, I don't think so. I think the verse you are referring to is that are the Jews who wanted to kill Jesus, not innocent people. It was his captors who were trying to kill him that were deceived, but. Even if you think it, it, it includes the innocent people, then why do we have Christians that still believe Jesus is not that? Just like my friend brought up some uh, Christian that he called Gnostic. Actually, they dated back to the time of the gospel because if you read the book of First John, you would see element of refutation against those who believe that Christ is not coming flesh. Probably they were just Christians. I don't know. What do you think about that? So I, I don't I didn't hear an addressing to my my an issue issue here. What when when you say uh, that Allah didn't do it? Let me just ask you. You might be different. You might have a different opinion here. All the other Muslims have been saying that Allah is the one who made it appear. Who's the one that made it appear that Jesus was crucified and killed? Allah made appear to those who wanted to kill him. That is his captors, not innocent people. Or the public not, not because uh, because you 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 assume that the Quran is going with your own biblical narrative that it was in the view of all the public including his followers but we believe even in the gospel you will find elements that all his disciples run away probably because they were also afraid that they will be caught because they have known him together with them probably they left so we believe that it was his captors that and were deceived 
Then you got Luke 23, verse 49, that says that all who knew him and followed him from Galilee, including the women, stood and watched these things from a distance. So Yeah, that, that's my point, that you are assuming that the Quran is going with the narrative of the Bible, which is not the, no, necessarily no, the not. case. I didn't, but let's I didn't, assume. I'm not. Let's I'm not assume. I, didn't, I didn't include the Bible into this at all. I am, a, I am a human being that believes that Jesus died by crucifixion. The reason That's why, what I'm saying that the reason you, why this you, you're a, assuming hold on, that hold on. the reason why this is a belief in the first place is because Allah originated this delusion. Don't you agree? That is only if you're assuming that the Quran is going with the Balkan narrative. No, that they I, were... I, don't have to, I don't have to assume the Bible at all. The Bible's not even in my mind right now. Okay, so 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 your Quran says that. Allah made it appear that Jesus was crucified. So this false belief that Jesus was crucified originated with Allah and his delusion, correct? No, the delusion is directed at those who wanted to kill him. Where even the Quran from? says, even the Quran says the Jew that bragged, so it was even talking about those who were bragging to kill him. So it was not to the public. And and if you think that the Quran makes the Christian believe so, public event. Wait, let, 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 let me finish my, my point. If you believe that the Quran makes it look so, then why do you have Christians who don't believe the same? So it is you who, who is willing to there believe. There are no Christians who don't believe that. So that's number yeah. one. Number two, can you I, have, can I give so, you, can so I, you're not, you're can not I give you proof. You didn't answer Can I give you question. proof? They were. You didn't, you didn't can, I, can I give you proof? Where did the oh, where did the belief that Jesus died by uh, by on the cross? Where did that originate? Can I give you proof? The early Christian who don't believe in so can, you answer can I give the you question, proof, please? Just answer the question. That what? Hello. Uh, can you repeat the question? Can you repeat the question? I knew that was coming. How you doing, Mohammed? Oh wow! Well, salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. I wasn't paying attention. Hope you're doing good. I'm fine. How about you? I'm pretty good, good man. Thank you. Um, so, so I, I've been posing this to everyone coming up and saying that I believe. That Jesus died by crucifixion because Allah made me believe this. What are your thoughts? Because Allah made you believe it, like you mean that you don't have a choice. But it's your own choice. Yeah. It's not it's, that it's, Allah made you believe it. It's not because Allah is the one who made made me believe it. I can't I can't. No, basically, escape. if you are referring if you are referring to the verse that speaks about crucifixion, it's probably it's talking about the people who who were witnessing it at the time right not talking and, about you. and then they continue to spread that message right yeah basically yeah that's okay. the point right and so i believe in this false message and this false message exists in the first place because allah produced this false message right excuse me C could you break it down i didn't get the point uh, allah is the one who started this false message that Jesus was crucified, right? He st It starts with Allah, right? Why does it start with Allah? It's the Jews that, like, if, if you're saying that, th that means that it's Allah who made the Jews try to kill him. But they have, they, they have their own choice. Well, because, so when we go to the verse, it says that it was made to appear to them that he was killed and crucified, right? Yeah, exactly. So who made it appear that Jesus was crucified? That that's an act in history. Like if you could if you want to ask ask me yeah, why who, who, why do I drink water? It's like Well, no, I'm, not, I'm not asking a why, I'm just asking who. Who made it appear that Jesus was crucified when he really wasn't? Who made it appear that he was? I don't. I don't really get the point. Like, okay. So he, he will me, Well, the, the the basic answer you want me to answer is is Allah. So just get yeah. to the point and and discuss the the point directly. 
Right. So Allah's the one who made it appear that Jesus was crucified. So this this lie that Jesus was crucified was started by Allah. A lie according to you. Right? So according to the Quran. No, it's not a lie according to the Quran. No, it's a, it's a lie that Jesus was crucified, right? It's not true, right? It's 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 like people were hallucinating or something, right? Who gave them this hallucination? Well, it's just it's probably Allah to to protect right, exactly. Jesus. Exactly. Do you think that a human can resist Allah's hallucination if Allah Himself? gives you a hallucination do you think that you as a human can escape that man well that's 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 the point i want to make basically because we're getting to some really details we are discussing like the the will of allah basically i can't discuss the will of allah and like to, to give you to give you a claim i it's not all probably not all the muslims believe like that but the first thing i do when I read the Quran, the first thing, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to get to, to get like explanation for things. In the first place, I do believe that it comes from God, so I do believe in it. Second, secondly, if I need explanation, if I find an explanation to some ambiguous uh, act in history, like this one, we call it Nur ala Nur, light on light. I got I got my explanation. But if uh -huh. I don't. It's still, it's still, it, it doesn't, it doesn't affect the fact that I should believe in it, not because I got a logical explanation about the facts, but I believe in it because basically it comes from Allah, and yeah. something so, that God got could not got do you. is basically so, lying. So, so you may be in a good position, but I'm in a bad position because right. I believe in this hallucination that Allah originated. That Allah started. I believe it. You All know, right. I only believe it because Allah made me believe this falsehood. I can't okay. escape it. So, do you think that I should get punished? Or let me ask you this: Do you think it's okay that Allah gave me a lie to believe in? I don't. Be I don't believe that it's Allah who's, who's obliging you to believe it. I think you have the choice, and you you choose. You choose to uh, to believe in the words of human instead of believing the uh, the words of God. But uh, these aren't these aren't the words of of human. These this is this is Allah Himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is basically the word of God. Why you 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 chose you made the choice to to believe the the word of Luke I, and Mark I can't, and Matthew. I can't help. I can't help but believe his delusion. I can't help. I can't fight against it. Well. Uh, we we already did the, the point if you remember so if we establish that the quran comes from allah then like you can you believe that it comes from god and therefore like god could not contradict or something that god cannot do is basically lying well, well this well this is my proof that it's not from god because god doesn't lie yeah. and it's a lie according to your to your belief, so it's relative. If we, if oh, no, no, I, I'm, according to your belief, it's a lie. It's a lie that Jesus was crucified. According to your belief, it's a lie. So I'm saying that Allah is the one who lied. He's the one who made us believe that Jesus was crucified in the first place. He started this lie. It wasn't anybody else. He started what, this. Well, I I do have a question. Why do you? Why do you define it like a lie? Sure. So it's like this. Is it true or is it false that mm -hmm. Jesus died on the cross? Is it true or false? Jesus didn't die on the cross. Right. So, so, Je so Jesus dying on the cross is false. That's a is false lie, idea, basically. right? All right, boom. Yeah. Now... If I make you or if I entice you or if I lead you to believe in something that is false, am I lying to you?
not really because i'm not a prophet so if i make you like hallucinate i'm trying to protect the the prophet basically with a so lot once again once again we are like we are trying to like uh, discuss the will of god no, like, like if we could say it's the will his will his will is his will but his will <laughs> was in this case was to lie correct why is a lie like why do you call it a lie? It's not basically a lie. It is, if I can. If sure, if sure. somebody Please. if somebody has you believe in something that you believe is true, and they're the cause of you making you believe that that is true, did that one who caused you to basically. believe? Right. So, is a deceitful the one who deceives is? Are they telling the truth or are they lying? But they be lying if they they tell that they they tell the lie. But basically, okay. God says in in God says and claims directly in the Quran that it has it, that Jesus is not crucified, nor they, they they killed him. Sure, but not originally though. Originally, it was believed and told that Jesus was crucified, and who caused. And I'll, and I'll even give you and I'll even give you this who caused the miracle of Jesus not being crucified excuse me could you repeat please who caused the miracle of Jesus not being crucified according to the Quran who got the miracle of Jesus not being crucified it's basically mm -hmm. Allah great so so ultimately who caused the deception of jesus not being crucified or i'm sorry the deception of jesus being crucified allah makes the claim in the quran in so many places that he, for for those who cho who choose who chose beautiful. To, to deceive themselves he is the greatest of deceivers beautiful so if <laughs> But that's not. But that's not a lie. Like you're telling me that I know the truth. If hold I on, remember truth. if hold on, but remember what you just answered. If one is deceiving, is he lying or is he telling the truth? It. Yeah, basically it says it in the okay, clap. So like is, you made a so, huge win. Uh, no, no, no. But look, if Allah is the best of deceivers, and He deceived all of those to believe that Jesus was crucified, and deceivers are liars. Who chose? Hold right, but that's after three but, three years. That's after but, they saw Jesus speak in his womb. Uh, after uh, I don't, it's not the womb. Uh, when he was like some. <laughs> that's another question for you guys. Well, hey, I, before you go there, I've hold been, on. Before you go to the question, let's right, let's stick to the right, point no here, problem, real quick. That's no real problem. fast. Okay, okay. Because you please. said Allah is the one that caused the miracle of Jesus being crucified. That means He's okay. the one that caused the ones who believe He's crucified. He's the one that deceived them. So if he's the one that deceived him, that means he's the one that lied because he deceived him. And you just even said that those who deceive lie. So Allah is lying to those who believe. Like like if you're telling me that magi magicians are all liars, for example. Magicians are all liars, basically. Because they make I'm not you talking believe that. I'm not, I'm not, well, I mean, both, I mean, are deceivers liars? No, you said I don't yes. That deceivers are liars. Are liars. Earlier you said yes. Truth. What? Earlier you said yes. No, 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 no. Don't put, don't put words into oh, my mouth. I told you that. Do, the, do we need? Deceivers. Okay. Everybody who's watching, hold on, hold on, real quick. Everybody who's watching, go and rewind, because I speci specifically asked you, are deceivers liars? Because if they're not, if they're deceiving, that's not the truth, right? So they have to lie, right? No, because they're not telling the I truth that they're the deceiving. Truth. Like I didn't ask if you know the so truth. I, I, I'll, I'll give you the definition of of lying for me, and if and we'll see if we are we're good with okay. it. Someone who lies is someone who knows the truth, but speaks the opposite of the truth. Mm, well, let me ask you this: Are this is actually a good question? Because you made a comparison to magicians. Are magicians God? No. Thank you. Okay. Great. I'm glad that you would agree. So God, who is the best of deceivers, made everybody believe in a lie. Not everybody. 
Not yeah, everybody. because everybody believed in the deception that he was crucified. Everybody. Not everybody. So he deceived Who's everybody. It? So therefore, Who, who he claims it? The Quran so, doesn't claim it. Again, did Muhammad, or sorry, did Allah perform the miracle of the crucifixion? See what I'm saying? It goes back and forth, dude. And at the end of the day, Allah is the one who deceives everybody. He's the one that causes the miracle of Jesus not being crucified, but hearing that he is. Therefore, Allah is the one who creates the deception because he's the one that made people believe he was crucified. I'm he's the cause about, behind I'm, it. Since you don't, since you don't bring lying about it, that, that's not a problem for me. Yeah. I know, th I know you don't you like that people, word, but ultimately, people are believing in a lie. And Allah's the people cause are of believing it. In, be, and Allah caused are believing it. Believing in a lie, exactly. That's what I'm telling. And you. Allah that's, that's caused a good it. Choice of word, because right. people chose to believe in God. It's not God. No, who did but lie at the end of the day, hold on. But, but sir, at the end of the day, Allah caused the deception. He caused sure. the lie to begin with. He's the foundation of the deception. Therefore, he's the foundation of the belief in a lie. He's the cause behind it. All right. He's the so greatest of point. deceivers. I'll make no, exactly. Hold on, like exactly like you said, he's the greatest of deceivers. Sure, sure. All right, just let, let me make you a point. Like there is a logical rule that there is implication and equivalence. Like for example, if a statement if if A implicate B, it's not necessary that B implicates A, but if A equivalent to B, that means that A implicates B and B implicates A. What I want to say by this that. Every liar is a deceiver, if but not P every deceiver Q. is a liar. It's an implication. <laughs> and Q plus P equals Z. No, just just to make sense. Let's go ahead just, and let um, just, let's just let, let Yahya give it a try, man. Let's let Yahya try. You don't you don't have to go. You could stay. But uh, I just want let's to let make a question if you could because I I've been I've been putting it in my mind like for a while if you could please just break it down a little bit for me because um, yes. for example for us we're, we're gonna we're gonna let him we're gonna let Yahya try bro oh, okay 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 no problem no problem take your time yeah man so so what's going on guys what's up man I'm saying that Allah is the reason why I believe in the crucifixion bro okay what are your thoughts on that basically yeah so if you did, did you have you read the ayah yeah okay where it says they have no knowledge of it except the following assumption they did not kill him uh yeah okay so they did not crucify him they did not kill him yeah but okay but it was made to resemble him to them yeah so it was made to appear to them Okay. Yeah. So, so God here is making it very clear that he, that his messenger, ask and you shall receive. That his messenger, who was crying and praying uh, in the Garden of Gethsemane, that God's going to come and save and protect his messenger. Wait, wait. Where, where does your Quran say that Jesus was praying to be saved in the Garden of Gethsemane? Oh, that's not in the Quran. That's in the Bible. Okay. So, is the Bible true about this event? About this crucifixion event and everything leading up to it, the Bible gets it correct. The crucifixion, no. Okay, so we don't. The yeah, we, we don't. Yeah, so the Bible's out there. We can't quote the Bible if it's unreliable here. So we got to stick with the Quran. So according to the Quran, you don't have Jesus praying to be saved or anything like this, but you do. Okay, I guess have this view that Allah did save him. No worries. Yeah. But so who made it appear to them that he was crucified? So if 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 he, they thought Jesus was alive, they would have kept attacking him. Mm. They were his disciples. He didn't have the power to to repel. You know he, that's why he said this. There's many things I could say unto you, but you're not ready for them now. So he didn't again, have the power. again, again. Where does your Quran say that Jesus said that there's many things I have to say to you now, uh, but you can't or that, that but you can't bear them now? Where where does your Quran say that? <clears throat> no, that I don't think that's in the Quran. So where, where are you quoting that from? I believe John. So is John the Injil? Is John the Injil? No, but there's elements of truth. Okay. So you can't quote the you can't quote John the Gospel if it's not true and reliable about what Jesus actually taught, preached, practiced his religion, and what happened to him. John's out the window. Stop going to the Bible. Stick with the Quran. 
or the hadith. So I, I'm not sure if if you if you understand the Muslim belief and our belief about the Bible. Yeah, it's a very inconsistent belief that I will not allow you guys to do. It's either it's true or it's not. No, but of course, obviously, so I mean, like Ezekiel 23. So you believe in the full Bible 100%. So you're saying the whole book is true. Yeah. So that Ezekiel 23. That has nothing to do with my quote. The Bible has nothing to do with my contention here. My question okay. was who made it appear that Jesus was crucified? Who made it appear Allah to protect his messenger? All right. Yes. So, so Allah made people believe in order to put, protect Jesus, he made people believe that he was crucified, correct? Ye yes. No, well, they would have kept hunting him, yeah. Yeah, no worries. So in yeah. order to protect him, he made them believe that Jesus mm -hmm. was crucified. And so to this day, people believe that Jesus was crucified all because Allah produced mm -hmm. this false belief. Is that correct? Well, that's up to them because they haven't read the Quran. Surah al nisa 157 clears this up because the what, Jews what? were boasting, right? Mm -hmm. The Jews were boasting, we killed the Messiah, we killed the Messiah because for them to disprove Jesus's Messiahship, they mm -hmm. had to um, they had to crucify him because in Deuteronomy, right? If you're if you're on a tree, you're cursed. So that was one. They could have killed him anywhere, but they wanted this crucifixion to go through. Yeah. So Allah protects His messenger, uh, like Allah protected it's, His messenger. Just to be clear, is Deuteronomy the correct laws and statutes that the Jews were supposed to follow? Is Deuteronomy uh, I mean, according to them, yeah, obviously we we, we no, have. It's, I don't it's know either, it's it's either it is. No, it's either it is or it isn't. Is Deuteronomy the correct laws and statutes that God revealed to the Jews that they were supposed to uphold and follow? So you know that your book's been changed according to your own Bible, right? Even if you look at you Jeremiah. So if you look at Jeremiah. Then, the point, then, yeah, yeah. He's telling you, you not to it? quote it. Yeah, you keep quoting it. He's telling you stop using the Bible. You're Just use your Quranic narrative. Use your Islamic standpoint. Don't use the Bible because if he goes anywhere else in the passage, excuse me, anywhere else in the Bible, you're just going to say it's corrupted and denounce it. You quoted John. John affirms that Jesus was crucified. So it's no point in you quoting the Bible. So to stay on topic in what he's saying, please just use your Islamic narrative only. We don't want to hear you quote anything from the Bible, especially if you uh, believe it's corrupted. Sure, but I don't think you guys know the, the Islamic narrative. Uh, uh, he has sent down upon you the book in truth, confirming what was before it, and he revealed the Torah and the gospel. You so haven't well. confirmed anything that you wrote in that you read about the Bible or quoted out the Bible as truth. You're just quoting it randomly. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm quoting to, to give light to, to what he's asking. But you haven't confirmed whether that what you're quoting from the Bible is true. You actually rejected it as true. So, so, so basically, it, it's like a ruler. If, if it, I'm, I'm basically give the, obviously our Furqan is the Quran, the standard. Well, our Furqan. That's your the, standard. <laughs> yeah. Our, the Quran tells us that our Furqan is the Torah. So, so. Well, so if, uh, but this was even if we had the if, even if we had the Torah, even when Jesus comes back, he's going to be behind Mehdi, the, the prophet Mehdi. So even when he comes back, this is the nation of Muhammad Sallallahu So obviously, you guys follow the nation every time. Yeah, that, that's corrupt. That's corrupted. It disagrees with the gospel. That's corrupted. If if I was in the time of Jesus, I would have followed Jesus or, or any other prophet. Yeah, but no. according, according to the gospel, that, that's corrupted because right. according to the gospel, Jesus is the only way, the only truth, and the only life. Exactly. So, so you, your scriptures are the thing. corrupted ones. Your no, no, no. But, but yeah, yeah, your scriptures statement. are the corrupted ones. No, you don't have the original because in your Quran, if Jesus says, peace be upon me the day I uh, die, the day I'm born, the day I die, and the day I be raised alive again. That matches with the gospel. But And then it contradicts itself by saying, well, he was never crucified. So your book has a little bit of truth and a little bit of falsehood in it so when we go to your no, no. we you... we're just basically trying to tell you like bro you gotta give us the original and so when we come and we tell you hey look look at our standard of truth here our standard of truth literally destroys your book so you have to follow us speak... because we have the truth do you speak arabic it's it's not the day that i died the day the i don't, I don't have to speak back. arabic no well, 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 it, well, is. Exactly. It, it is the day that he died it's, it's both okay, it's both it's all write three. it down take a note but he yeah. if you go and look at the verse it's mm -hmm. he's talking about the future tense a lot of i think a lot no, of he's not. no he's not he's talking about what he said in the bible 
Well, yeah, that that was in the future tense. Even even Jesus said in the future tense, he said he said in the future tense, the Son of Man will be given over to the Gentiles uh, and be killed. This is after he's born. Will be killed in the future tense, and then he says, "Will rise again on the third day." So all of its future tense. Just which like verse said. is this? That which verse are you the, talking about? That part of the Quran is true, man. No, no. So why don't you pull up the verse here? So so I, I'll explain it to you. There, there's nothing to explain. It's pretty. It's pretty straightforward. I'm telling you. I'm telling you 100 that you guys don't get it. All right, no, no bro, you don't get it. It's man. okay. We don't get it. So, but here's the point, though, that we're that we're driving to, is that this false belief. So <laughs> you said tired, people. Okay. You said people didn't read the Quran. People didn't read the Quran. Uh, a, a life. Pull up that verse that he says we're lying. So just pull up the verse uh, and just have it ready if you can and share the share the screen. Yeah, it's the day that and, I die. So he's talking about because yeah. he, he knows that he's gonna come back. Yeah. As, yeah did he did he die at that moment or is that future tense? He, no, no, we believe Allah raised oh, him. Oh, uh, Avery, I'm, I'm, I'm on my, I'm on my phone. I'm on my phone, Avery. I ain't on my. Uh, it's okay. So, yeah. so, okay. so God, God, Allah SWT raised him up because he's the only prophet that that people worship. So that's why when he comes down, he's gonna break the cross. He's gonna kill the pig, and he's and the what, after what that. What does that have to no do more. with what my contention is? None of that. Well, has I'm explaining that to you to do with my yeah. contention. What's my contention? Do you even know? You're, you're talking about that why was it made that Allah made it to resemble I didn't, to resemble I, I didn't him ask to them. No. You're talking about no. 157. No, the why? answer, no. You're still talking and it's a no. That's not my contention. I'm not asking why did Allah do it. I don't care why he did it. The fact that he did it is all that matters to me. He did it. And so therefore, Allah has caused and originated a false belief that Jesus was crucified. And anyone that believes in that Jesus was crucified believes this because Allah started this lie. That's my <laughs> no, contention. Even, even let's say, even if, if I grant you Jesus was crucified, does this, does this, all these other wacky beliefs like the, uh, God becoming a man and all this stuff? And even that doesn't make sense because there was, if you look back, there was Christian sects, the monarchists and the Ebionites, they believed in the original message of Jesus, you know, and they believed this belief too that you believe that, that Jesus died, but they didn't believe he was God. They believed that he came and he raised sins. Of, of, I don't know why they believe that, but they were a Christian Jewish sect. But they didn't, they didn't believe that this Trinity and Paul and all of us, they didn't believe in any of that stuff. Okay. So I, I, could, I, could, I could tell you where a wacky belief can come from. If, uh, if someone says, you know, or if someone sees, because Allah is making them see something, right? They, they can't escape it. Allah made them see that Jesus was crucified or put that in their head, right? So they can't escape what Allah showed them, right? They can't escape that. You agree? Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Yeah, to, to the people who see who see whoever whoever was getting crucified, yeah, that's uh, what they thought. right. The enemies, so they yeah. can't they can't escape that, mm -hmm. and so now, okay, boom. Seeing that he was crucified, knowing that he's dead, you saw they saw him die, no. but then a few days later, they see him alive. So now they have this belief that this Messiah died and rose again three days later. And then begin to preach this message that he's the Lord and Savior who died for our sins. All of this, all of these wacky and weird beliefs started because Allah lied and said Jesus was crucified and let them believe this for five, for 600 years. If you allow me, okay, okay. just to uh, make one point. Go, go ahead, go ahead, brother. Thank you very much. So just uh, going back to the verse that uh, the, the brother just uh, brought up, uh, talking about uh, uh, the day. So it's basically it has a succession. <laughs> so the day he, he was born, the day he will die and the day he will be brought up again. Also, oh, it says exactly life. what we said it says. But we do believe, we do believe, as well, just, no, just, we believe that we, as, as you wait, just really quick. I'm, I'm gonna let you continue, just really quick. I just want you to affirm this that that verse says exactly what me and my friend Life said it says, right? No, if I, if, if I don't, if I don't <laughs> make, my, make my phone, just let me finish my phone. So basically, no, no, I, I'm gonna let you like, finish. I, it's literally just a it does it only takes a just, millisecond to just, say you can it, just stop in way to little Mussolini, like. You, you you should you should finish it. You should know the context. I I believe that I'm I'm gonna be raised again live. Okay. I, I don't I don't know what it is about you guys, but 
I know, I know it seems for a Muslim impossible to concede a point. It's no, impossible it's about for a Muslim point, to brother. say, you know what? You're right, guys. Y'all had it. Y'all had it right. I, I, I misspoke. I misspoke. But because I'm you guys are Muslims, you guys can't even concede that we were right about the verse in your own book. No, brother, pull it up then. Pull it up. He just read writing? it out to you and you was like, yep, yep, that's the one. Yep, you said it. I said that's, uh, yeah, I said that's the one because he was reading in Arabic. I'm like, yes, I'm the, but not what yeah. you said. <laughs> the definition you gave is the wrong definition. Because he, was, well, cause he was, cause he was reading in Arabic. Because he was reading in Arabic. <laughs> <laughs> That you guys Arabic, both speak Arabic. Arabic got you what's, in going, zone, what's the issue man. here? I don't get what the issue of contention is here. That's Let me Arabic, ask you this question, man. guys. Did Jesus want to be crucified? Hold on. Yeah, yeah. It says here, peace be upon me the day I was born, the day yes. I die, and the day I will be the raised. The day that I, I die. Yomi, will it to a, you know, yes, exactly. So he's talking about when he yeah. comes back, he will die. No, 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 but, no, 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 his book has a little bit of truth, and he doesn't have the original Quran. So yeah, okay, we are okay, telling okay. you, no, let's no, no, play yeah, this yeah. game. I'll play your game. No, no, no. I'll Omar, play your game. Omar, I'll play your game. You're gonna like this. Omar, no, okay, Omar, you're gonna like Omar. this. One no, second, no, listen, 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 listen. No, I'm no, listening. We have this. We have the standard of truth, man. Where is this exactly? Truth. All right, so, where's so the here. standard? Where's the standard? So, okay. So do remember, one second, doc. One second, doc. So do I believe in? I'm listening, but but you guys are let me finish my point. No, 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 no. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'll let you, you finish. Listening. So as long as you listen to me next. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. I, I, of course we'll listen to you. I've been listening to you this whole time. Make a fool of yourself. So here we read you, the well, verse. You're the fool, dog. You, you here, even know you, here, you, you mistranslated here, the word. Don't read, act. Here, here. Don't act, homie. The, all right. When, when are you, when you, when you going to be done talking, man? Go ahead. I'm done. Go ahead. So here we read the verse. The verse literally yeah. says what we say it is. The problem is, is that you're telling us that no. <laughs> you're lying, dude. <laughs> Yo, hey, bro. I, it's okay. Just, I have it on the screen. I, I have it on the screen. Swore. I could have swore you was done talking. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Is this the last time you're going to say go ahead or you going to, oh, come on, man, while I'm talking? No, no, no. And the day that I die. Continue. Okay. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, please, yeah. Just let please, him finish. Okay. So please continue to keep your mic on mute while I talk, bro. So the problem is, is this. We read the verse. Okay. We're telling you what the verse means. You guys are so deadlocked into your false position that you don't even understand what we're doing to you. I am joking when I tell you that I have the standard of truth. Your book contains falsehood and truth at the same time. So when I read this verse here, I can go back to my book, which is the Bible, and tell you this is true in your book, and then turn around and go to 4157 and then tell you, no, that's false. I am joking with you, flipping your uh, insane position on you, and here you are trying to argue with me about 1933 because you don't get it. We don't care about the context. We're telling you that your position is insane. It's an insane position to hold, and we're making fun of the fact that you even came up here and brought up the position by going to the Bible and trying to prove your Quranic narrative, your Islamic narrative, with biblical passages that destroy you. You want to come to the Bible and use 5% of the Bible whenever you feel like it and then ignore the 95%. So I did the same exact thing to you. And here you are trying to justify it because you don't even understand when your own crazy position is flipped on you. So understand what's actually going on here. We don't care about the context. We see what the verse says. We don't need to argue about it. We see what it says here, bro. All right, sick. Okay, so you went off for three minutes. I'm going to get three minutes too. No, I don't care what you get, man. Nah, so and you guys are soft. And they didn't go on for three minutes. The day, the day, so so one second, you read the verse. Why did you take it off? It said the day that I die. You don't get it, man. This dude just <laughs> lost. <laughs> no, I, you didn't hear but, nothing but, I just said. You still it's, you it's, translated it. it. You it's okay. Argue 1933. It, it's it's okay. Okay. So this is where we're at. It's not okay because you guys mistranslated the day that I die. Okay, we believe in a false that. belief because Allah made us believe in a false belief. What is your response to that? Did Jesus want to be crucified? <laughs> that doesn't answer his question. 
Bro. Can you just answer it this does. question? It does. Oh, because answer oh, this question without a question. Omar, you, 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 you never fail to entertain me, Omar. If I, I could prove that. to you from your own Bible that you claim that like, this is inspired by God, if I could prove that yeah, you're yeah. not talking so about they not the want Bible. To Hang on. Hold on. Hold on. We yeah, don't yeah, have yeah, the yeah, original yeah, Bible. Yeah, we don't have the original Torah. We don't have yeah, the original Injil. Yeah, we don't have it. So Hang on a second. What Bible are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Instead of asking a question, can you just answer the question? That Allah, I told you, uh, uh, it's it's the same answer that that God wanted to protect his his Messiah. So Allah SWT, God is not going to allow 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 the Jews to win over him, and God saved them, and He's going to bring him back. So if you guys can get why, over, why, it why did Allah, why did Allah allow other prophets to die? Prophets die, many prophets. So he, allowed, die. he allowed them to be killed. Why why did he protect Jesus from being killed? Including Muhammad, yeah, yeah, because I already explained this to you. Because Jesus was the only prophet that was worshipped. We're okay. Can you show what? me? Can you show it's me in the Quran him. that the reason that Allah saves him from crucifixion is because he was being worshipped? Can you show me that? Where the I Quran don't think that it's in the Quran, but it's a tafsir that the Sheikh gave to us. A tough seer. Yeah, I forget which one it is. Also, also the widespread. Also, really quick too. We we, we don't have to argue this, but the widespread worship of Christ happened after. <laughs> so, I don't understand. Like, what are you even talking about, bro? You're just running your mouth at this point. So, no, you, you, you're, you're asking me a question. I'm answering according to the Quran. So, you guys, so, so, just, so that it's wasn't just according to the Quran. So it's so just conjecture. Was Excuse me. So it's just conjecture. On why Jesus was saved, it's just conjecture. Does he say she say? No, no, it's, it's tafsir. These, these are scholars of Islam. Yeah, tafsir is like, he say she say. You don't even know which tafsir you can't that that came up with this. You can't even quote him. Suyuti, Suyuti. So Suyuti. Suyuti the tafsir. Yes. Yeah. Pull it up if you can. If you. Yeah. So Suyuti. So, so no, no. You pull it up. Nah. You pull it up. I told so, you. I don't remember. I so just Suyuti. Tafsir, said, yeah. Where did Suyuti get this from? Where did Suyuti get this from? That Allah saved Jesus because he was being worshipped. Just like you guys put your faith in like Justin Martyr, Helopolis, these guys who put your I, book I don't together. put my faith in nobody but Christ. Can you show me well, where did the he one, get this from? They're the ones who put your book together, so why are you can, lying? Can you show me where he got this together, from? 367. Okay, fine. AD. So can you show me where he got this from? It, I told you, Suyuti. Yeah. I, I don't know. I told, oh my I, God. I told you. I can you tell me I where Suyuti got this from? If... If you want to wait, I'll pull it up for you. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait. Shoo ba doop da ba da doop da da doop da. Shoo ba doop da ba da doop ba doop da ba da da doop da. Shoo ba doop da ba da doop ba doop da ba da da doop da. Shoot up, de do. Shoot. Oh, I know that ain't happening. My hands are right here. <laughs> my hands are on my lap. As much as he talked, I, I can't give him that. I ain't gonna lie. I can't. I, something, must, something had to have happened. I, yeah, I, I was about to say. I can't hey. say he left. I can't say Omar left. Shoop it up, dab it up, do 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 da 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 da. Shoot up, we do. He's waiting for him to come back. Man, y'all got that vibe going on. Hey, the reason why the reason why uh, Allah saved Jesus is because Jesus prayed to be saved, man, in the Bible. That's why Allah did it, y'all. The reason why Allah, know. the reason why Allah saved Jesus is because he was being worshipped by the people, mm. not knowing that him saving Jesus or bringing mm. him up to heaven and mm -hmm. causing people to think that he died and was raised mm -hmm. would actually push the worship of Jesus. Wow! Mm -hmm. Wow! Wow! Stuff. Look at the <laughs> wisdom behind that, bro. The hikmah of Allah oh. subhan Allah. So. Did he lose connection or is gone gone? No, I, think uh, gone. I, I don't. I don't know. He probably lost connection. Ooh. He was probably on his phone. So here's here's the, here to be fair. If you like go off on your phone, I think it disconnects you. So that's what I was thinking. He might have accidentally disconnected by looking up other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, we have guests. So in the Moving meantime, yeah, Omar was Omar's. Uh... How's my microphone now? Is it better? 
Sounds good. Re- so much better. I ain't gonna lie. Omar right. is. Sorry, uh, if I sang and blasted you, yes, I apologize. <laughs> like, Let's see. Shafi, how you doing? Assalamu alaikum. <clears throat> alaikum salam. Don't remove. Your YouTube name don't says remove. John. Don't remove, please. Don't remove. Don't remove. I can't mm, hear you. So, so uh, I will debunk all of you, okay? I can't. Right. I can't okay. understand what you're saying. He said, "Will debunk all of us." Yes, they understand. They understand. So life okay. and intergenerational okay. and rob. Do you all guys love Jesus? Okay. Can you, can you, you turn you your mic him? down a bit? Can you turn your microphone down because it's like blurring through and we cannot understand you clearly. One minute. Hello, hello. My wife. My voice is coming. A little it's, bit better. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Distance your mouth from the mic or something. Oh, uh, so right. do you do you guys love Jesus? Why why did Allah make me believe Jesus was crucified? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm answering. Do you love Jesus? Do you guys love Jesus? Can you can you answer it without asking a question? <laughs> 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 Oh, your neighbor's gonna hear that. Shoot up, de doo. Hey, guys, guys, guys. <laughs> Let's not forget Christos and Nestu. Hmm. What do I mean? <laughs> <laughs> because that's what the Quran says. Um, I'm gonna I'm I'm debunk all you guys. Do you love Jesus? Debunked. <laughs> Just by that alone. Yes, See, you're been debunked. They never said, they didn't you say see, yes. It they appeared, be. notice, it appeared to them, yeah, because the Logos embodied wasn't killed. It's the body that was killed. So mm. Allah. Mm. Mm. I, I'm thinking of that meme right now. It's like, ooh, he thinking. <laughs> light upon light, how are you? Uh, hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. You're mu- you said you're Muslim, clear. right? I am a Muslim, alhamdulillah. All right, all right, all right. So uh, I believe in the crucifixion because Allah made me believe in the crucifixion. Help me out. Okay, what's your point? Uh, do you, what, do you, what do you think of that? Am I, am I right or am I understanding this wrong? What part of it? That I believe in the crucifixion because Allah made me believe it. Well, I don't know what your personal sincerity is on that, but if you believe it, I'll take your word for it now. You know, you must. Well, um, well, it all starts from Allah is my point. Like this, this belief that Jesus was crucified all started with Allah. He's the one that started this, this idea. Yeah. I mean, pagans also believe in the Easter bunny and things like that. So what's your point? Yeah. So uh, does Allah, is Allah the one that, like made the Easter Bunny an idea, like put the Easter Bunny idea in the people's minds? Did Allah do that? You could say that everything is by the creation of Allah. So every lie comes from Allah? Not in the way that you're implying it, no. And so in what way does a lie come from Allah? No, you're implying, I didn't say it came in any way. Well, no, I mean, okay, so let's start over. So is it true or false that Jesus died by crucifixion? Jesus did not die. So it's false? By crucifixion, yeah. It's, it's, All right. It's, it, that this is a false belief that you have, yeah. It's a false belief, good. It, it's come to your understanding now that it's a false belief, yeah. All right, so where did this false belief originate? Who started this false belief? Uh, I, I couldn't say who first declared that. I wouldn't know who first declared that. Allah did. Allah, oh, Allah, you, Allah started this belief. You, you, what's your question? Who, who started it? You, you started. Yeah, who, yeah, yeah. Where did, where did this? Yeah, where did this false belief that Jesus uh, every, was crucified? Where did that come from? Where did this idea well, that Jesus was crucified come from? Everything in the creation is from the Creator. So everything. Every single thing. So that, so even even the things that are non-theological, even things that we're not even discussing, that we would 
Yeah, I agree or disagree. I got you. Too. So so yeah. that so then I'll ask my second my follow up question that I asked you before. Okay. So then every lie comes from Allah. Everything in the creation comes from Allah, but that wouldn't mean that Allah is a liar or if that's what you're trying to imply. Do lies come from Allah? Not directly, no. The, the universe, the entirety of everything, the entire of creation is from the creator. So if you want to say, does murder, does the killing of babies come from Allah? Does you know the slaughter of children in Gaza come from Allah or something like that? If you want to say that, it's kind of a distorted way of, of viewing life, I think. It robs us well, of I'm, I'm just, the free I'm will gonna, that we have. I'm just going that. based off your answers, my friend. Based off your answers, you're saying, when I asked you, where does this idea, this false belief come from that Jesus was crucified? You said everything in the creation comes from Allah. So okay, that leads yeah. me to like, okay, so false beliefs, lies, all come from Allah is what I have understood from your answer. Not quite. I mean, I think if we're having a conversation about the theology of the topic, or are we having a conversation about, you know, the human, you know, kind of condition around it and how humans are dealing with their experience of the world, then there's kind of two ways to split that, right? Obviously, no, I'm giving you the it, theological. It, it, it's, a, it's either it's no, no, black I'm giving, or white. Okay, black look, or if, white. I can ask you the same question. Like if someone murders someone, does that come from God? I'll ask no, you that. Does that come from Jesus? No. I'll say no. No, no, but are do you think that okay? So I, I, I just, God, I, who, you see how you see how I was able to answer you straight away. No, no because it, uh, murder, yeah, but lying, uh, uh, stealing, uh, yes. uh, rape, molestation, yes. all yes. of that is of man and and the devil, not from God. So okay. when you I ask say that, you, where does this false, where did, where did this false belief come from that Jesus died by crucifixion? Where did it come from? Well, not everyone thought that, so it's not necessarily that. I didn't ask that. that. I didn't ask if everybody thought yeah. that. Where did this false idea that Jesus died by crucifixion? Where did it come from? Where did it start? It upon. I'm guessing somebody thought that at the time, and it just spread. Why this though? rumor um, spread? Says it comes from Allah. So let me read you a verse. No, no, no. You can read. No, that's not the point. The Quran is, is quoting what's up. Yeah, you can, you can read it. You can read the. You can read the verse, and you'll see. Okay. All right, for sure. Let me let me read the verse, and let's see. Uh, let's see. Maybe you might be different. Uh, you might give it a, a different interpretation here, because the Quran does say that those who differ on this matter do follow conjecture. So, I wouldn't. It would. It would make sense if you had a different. So he wanted them. Okay, he wanted all those that follow conjecture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, an entire Uma. You okay. Know, okay. Conjecture on this issue. Okay. Now I know. Now I know what he. Okay. Yeah. So what right here, where it says, <laughs> they slew him not, nor crucified him. Right here, but it was made to, but it was made so, it, but it appeared so unto them. Right. So it was made to appear that Jesus was crucified. Here's my question for you. Who made it appear to them that Jesus was crucified? I can't say for sure. I can't Fair say answer. for sure. Fair I answer. can't say for sure who, who because I know that there was disagreement amongst them. So mm, Conjecture? Uh, you... Sorry? There was, conje there, were, there was conjecture amongst them? Those, yeah, but I mean, it wasn't just it wasn't absolute consensus. It wasn't absolute mm. consensus. Okay. Yeah, so, so we could you could say that perhaps there was a deviant bunch of people who decided. I'm not gonna. I don't. It's not good to speculate on things that we don't know, right? So maybe there's maybe there's a scholar that knows precisely some evidence here that can expand on this. But for me, this doesn't present any well. They, theological they all issue follow, at all. Well, well, well here's the thing. The it says. It says, "Hey, uh, Rob, turn up your mic a little bit." But it says, oh, "But it was a appear. It appeared so unto them, and lo, those who disagree concerning it are in doubt thereof. They have no knowledge. It, therefore, accept the pursuit of conjecture. They only follow conjecture." Uh, Rob, do you believe that Jesus was crucified under Pontius Pilate in the first century? Uh, I do. What about you, uh, Hunter? Of course. Life? 
Absolutely, 100%. And out of the 2,100 people here, the ones who are Christians, put a one in the chat. <laughs> If you believe that Jesus was crucified under Pontius Pilate in the first century, let's just give it just like gonna, a, a little. 15. They're going to agree with you. Yeah, they're going to agree with you. But we're not talking about now. We're talking about no, no. Uh, what's what is his name? I can't even see it. Ahmad, Ahmad. Uh, they're not. They're not. They're not agreeing. He's the one in the Quran. Avery, they're agreeing with history. It has nothing to do with Avery. It has nothing to do with logic, bro. This is history so that they're agreeing with. What's the what's the main contention here, though? I mean, okay, we have a disagreement. All right, how's my mic now? Yeah, the main oh, sounds good, Rob. The Perfect. main contention here is where he has it highlighted, but it well, honestly, the whole passage is a problem. But the highlighted area makes it even worse. It says, but it appeared so, right? It was made to appear so. So he asked, he, um, he asked you, who did that? Who made it appear? And you said you can't say. So it seems like you don't know. Let me ask you this. Would it be a problem to you if Allah was the one who made it appear as if Jesus was on the cross being crucified? No, it couldn't be a problem for me. That wouldn't be a problem okay. at all for me. Okay. So if you go into the tafsirs, you'll see that this is exactly what they're explaining. Also, to Avery, if you have a one right there, do you have a one you can click? Okay, no, you don't have a one on yours you can click. The footnote even explains and tells you that this is mm. there, you know, your 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 consensus is Allah was the one who put the resemblance on yeah. a, a numerous, a numerous, you know, um suggestion of there, people. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So and they, they yeah. don't even know they don't even know who it was, they don't even agree on who it was. What was it a young boy? Was it Judas? Was it you know uh, a, a regular doll? Was it Simon? Was it you know with the, you guys don't and, even know and the Quran the Quran touches on that in the next sentence no it doesn't like no it no but we're disagreeing we're we're, dis we're disagreeing like it's no no it's clear you that guys, no, no you're no no you're no, 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 not here. no not here you guys not here. you guys not you guys here. are the only one off mid who differ on the matter everyone else agrees that jesus was crucified under pontius pilate we don't have no conjecture we don't have any rumors that we're following it's one exactly. narrative jesus exactly was crucified under but pontius what? pilate but you guys have all of these different narratives because you differ on it. You mm -hmm. have these different, you have the doubt. Mm -hmm. and you no, have we actually don't because the verse is sufficient for us. about what happened. It's conjecture. No, because, you uh, Ahmad, no, because Ahmad, the problem but, is, because, is let me, no, no, and, let me just, and, let me and, respond and, to and, that. And, and, I'll just and, respond and, to that. I just, I just want, it's, I just want to respond on, to it's that. On, it's on the, it's on the same line, but I don't want you to respond to the wrong thing. Cause I feel like I hear, yeah. Cause I feel like I hear that's what you're about to do. Okay. We know that the Muslims are in line with the fact that he wasn't crucified we yeah. understand that but you guys follow conjecture around the details of it period you guys don't yep. have one full consensus on what even took place the only thing you know is that your god is telling you it didn't happen which is problematic against all of the history that it actually did happen so you guys are following conjecture not us Let's That's correct point. that. Okay, not right, now, now I'm just now I can respond. Now I'm going to respond. Oh, you're now, right. You're now, right. As a matter of fact, respond. you're right. You're right. They're not. They're not, not united right, on the right. fact that okay. Jesus wasn't right. crucified. Some of them right do about believe that he was crucified. Yeah. Okay, so, so yeah, that, that's correct. They believe. I yeah, forgot, exactly. I forgot. Okay. Yeah, I did hear a Muslim say that. I yeah. have heard a couple of Muslims say that as well too. So yeah, my bad. Okay, I'm going to respond now. I'm going to respond. Let me respond. Okay, so this verse, as it is, is sufficient for a Muslim. Completely sufficient. There, there's, I don't need to know. I don't need to know what the weather was like that day. I, didn't, I don't need to know more in details. But it this was never about because, what you need to no, know. Because, though, Ahmed. No, but listen, listen, because there are so many other things that we could use as examples um, that we don't have any extra information on. Like we, we just have what we're being told and we accept it. We, but but no, it was never no about whether the verse is sufficient for you. That's a selfish claim. Isn't Allah for everybody? Not just you, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah, yeah, exactly. Course. So we're discussing what Allah did to everybody, not just you. Not just you coming okay. to this verse, right? Uh, after you were born, well, I don't, I don't know how old you are, but you were obviously probably born, you know, in the 19, you know, somewhere in the 1900s or the, uh, or the 2000s, depending on how old you are. Um, yeah. You are going to read this verse and you're not going to specifically care because you are already of the Muslim faith. But we are discussing the fact that Allah has deceived millions of people into believing that the crucifixion actually took place 
causing a big spiral effect of believers in Christ in his crucifixion. So the problem that so you have, yeah. the problem that you have is that your God has caused worldwide deception to spread. Okay, so you're, it's, it starts yeah, you're, with him. So your concern is that for people who went on believing that and didn't hear the truth that Jesus was not crucified, that these people are living in delusion and deception. This is your concern and that they're condemned for mm -hmm. that, right? Um, yes, mm -hmm. that's a or problem, why? but here's the thing. It's also coming up against actual, actual evidence. It's evidence against a claim. No, it didn't happen, but it was, a, it, it was made to appear okay. as if it happened. So after all of these years of growth and understanding of the crucifixion and what it actually meant to the people who believed it, now you have Muhammad coming 600 years later. No, no, ain't no telling within that, that I think it was a 23 year span of him receiving those revelations. We don't know when this verse came about and then it started to spread. And then the Muslims started to, okay. to, to spew this, you know, deception. So, okay. It's, so it's a problem. Yeah. So just to the point about people who never heard about this or who are, as you, you know, you're saying we're living with this deception of not knowing what really happened. That's actually addressed in Islam and that those people will be tested after they die in a different way. Um, so for the people who never, you know, knew this and they, who were under the impression that Jesus, peace be upon him, had been crucified, then they will be dealt with differently and that they're not condemned because they didn't reject that. They, they may have sincerely believed it. I mean, think about it. We all sometimes can believe things and then find out the truth. Okay. And maybe we feel silly after, so, but so we, were, saying... we, were, we don't, we don't hold, we don't always, we don't always hold some blame for that. Right. So that's that question or part okay. of the rest. So let me so let me respond to that really quick. So you're telling me that Allah created this false narrative, allowed it to be spread out all the way up. And let's just take it all the way up until the time of Muhammad. He allowed this false narrative to spread all the way up until the time of Muhammad. People are believing in this. People are believing that Christ died for their sins. And the people are, are, are dying upon believing that he's the son of God and he was also crucified for our salvation. And you're telling me that when those people pass, <clears throat> pass away and go up and go up to your God, Allah, right? He's gonna what? He, how, he's gonna test them again? I, I, I'm confused. How is how is he gonna test them about something they don't even know was revealed? No, they're not gonna be, gonna be tested gonna... about that matter. They're not gonna be tested about that matter. It's that they will have a chance to prove themselves as believers. Okay, after they that's not making any sense because you haven't not, even not, be, not because of not because of this matter. I'm just trying to explain to you. They never yeah, heard but, the true you're message not me, because you're they, not Islam me hadn't been revealed. Yeah, because people had yeah, people, yeah, but, people were asking people were asking what would happen, what will happen to people who never heard the true message of Islam. And then the Islam, answer to that is they'll be tested. Islam, you said Islam hasn't been revealed. What do you what do you mean by that? I thought Islam was all the way. Before, no, no. Prior to the prior to the no prior prior to the final messenger. What do you what do you what do you mean prior to the that doesn't that doesn't make any sense was was Islam during the time of Adam or during the time of Muhammad? I know where you're going with that, but we also know we also agree. I'm, I'm we, only going. I can also only go with what you tell me, bro. Yeah, I I know where you're going with that. So was Islam? Also, you also have the, the understanding of, that Muslim. Was, was, yes, but was Islam during the time of Adam or during the time of Muhammad? When did it start? The religion was perfected during the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. When did it start? It, well, it was perfected at that time. It had been corrupted. When did it and start? Which, which specifically are you talking about? Islam? When did Islam, the religion, start? Did it start with Muhammad or was it always here from Adam's time? The, the core of the faith always existed. Yeah. So Islam always existed. Yeah, but of course details emerged because circumstances and the world progressive changed. revelation but islam has always existed from adam's time well, okay Go mon ahead. Monothe monotheism yeah well monotheism. monotheism isn't all islam. pure you know yeah of course not but okay the pure hanif the monotheist again monotheism is not islam is that's not what monotheism mm -hmm. is islam has monotheism well, in it but yeah not all monotheism religions are islam yeah. right but that's why I said the core. I'm not talking about all the aspects of Islam. Gotcha. Existed forever. I'm not. I mean, it existed in. It's in, either the religion was. Were. It's. It's. We understand the core. And we get that. It's no, but the, the religion no, was established no, but, at the time of Adam or Muhammad, man. 
Uh, Tawhid, the belief in one God, which is the core great, doctrine of Islam, great, thank existed you. since the beginning. Yeah, of course. Great, thank which, you. So now I, what I, you're I saying is but... so now what you're saying is still problematic on the basis of the crucifixion and what everybody believes surrounding it. So you're telling me the people that believe the, in the crucifixion believe that believe that right uh, Christ. Uh, you know, death, burial, and resurrection, believe that he was the son of God, also believe that he was God, because you have to remember what we stated. After this, the worship of Christ spiraled out of control because of the prophecies and the things that he foretold before this event even took place. So all of these things that these people died believing in took them out of the fold of Islam. Paganism existed too. People did terrible things. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll, I'll wait to the next. I'll wait to the next guy. Come on. No, no, no. But think about that. Though. Wait, you have to think about. Before you send that. him off, I want to show him something. No, I ain't gonna yeah, send him off. To... I'm just done talking you... to him. I don't think he's hearing. But life, me. Oh, no. life. I am listening to you. But you want to talk about it strictly through the, your Christian lens, right? Which is fine. No, I understand that. I'm not using the Christian lens at all. No, I'm saying because you want to talk about it relative to Christianity, like what Islam. And what the Quran says about what happened. I'm not talking to, about to it Christ. relative to Christianity. Well, I like, what, I like to share. What you think that I'm doing. But I like, are, I like to share two sides of the same coin. I want to see Ahmed's response to this. Okay, I'm sharing on. my screen. Let's angle it from a secular scholarship context. This is what I've been reading on, on the Quran. This is what Gabriel Reynolds says about 157. Obviously, he goes through the tafsir here. He says that you know, Allah cast Jesus' likeness onto a, a random dude. But Reynolds wants to argue that the verse does not deny that Jesus was crucified or that he died. It only denies that the Jews killed him. The reason for this denial is quite particular to the Quran. The insistence that God is the one who gives life and death. In describing the manner in which God causes death, the Quran elsewhere uses the verb tawafa. This is the verb the Quran has God used to announce that God himself will cause Jesus to die and that Jesus uses after his ascension into heaven to speak of how God caused him to die. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Notice that the verse says, if I go back to the actual verse, it says, For their saying, we killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, the apostle of God, though they did not kill him nor crucify him, but so it was made to appear to them. All right. Now, notice what Reynolds says. <clears throat> Thus, with this verse, the Quran means not to deny the death of Jesus, but to use the Israelites' claim of having killed Jesus, a prophet of God, as an, as an example, along with the others mentioned in this section, of Jewish perfidy. And so, therefore, in this, it is comparable to those passages in, in say, in the New Testament, in Acts, where the crucifixion is presented as a climax of a long history of Israelite infidelity. Now notice, notice what Peter says in Acts, all right, which ironically agrees with the Quran, which therefore you can't deny the crucifixion. So notice Peter says, it was you who accused the holy and upright one, that's Jesus, you who demanded that a murderer should be released to you while you killed the Prince of Life God, however, raised him from the dead, and to that fact we are witnesses. So, notice that <laughs> if you read the Quran in a different way, like if you read it through the lens of what Peter's saying, although it appeared that you killed the Holy and Upright One, well, guess what? Technically, you, your, your actions came to naught. It, 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 it wasn't fulfilled because God raised him. That's exactly what the Quran says. Now the now the flip side, this is the flip side. I'll share my screen again one more time. The flip side is this. Say we go along with the idea that the Quran does deny the crucifixion. All right. Well, the only first time that ever occurs in human history is in the Gnostic text that comes centuries after the New Testament. So for example, again over here, the great, the second treatise of the great Seth says, this is in the third century AD, when, when the, the Gnostic Jesus says, for my death, which they think happened, happened to them in their error and blindness. Since they nailed a man unto their death, it was another, their father, who drank the gall and the vinegar. It was not I. So it was the Gnostics who denied the crucifixion of Jesus. Mm. 
And that's exactly what Ibn Kathir says. Notice what Ibn Kathir says. When Allah sent Isa with proofs and guidance, um, uh, the Jews stirred up the king of Damascus at that time, a Greek polytheist who worshipped the stars, to, to order his deputy in Jerusalem to arrest Jesus. Jesus, perceiving this, asked those with him, who volunteers to be made to look like me, for which he will be my companion in paradise? A young man volunteered, whereupon Allah made the young man look exactly like Isa. Notice, Allah is the one doing this according to Kathir. While a hole opened in the roof of the house, and Isa was made to sleep and ascended to heaven while asleep. Then those surrounding the house saw the man who looked like Isa. They thought that he was Isa. So they took him at night, crucified him, and placed a crown of thorns in his head. The Jews then boasted that they killed Isa, and some Christians accepted their false claim. Notice that. The Christians accepted their false claim due to their ignorance and lack of reason. So, <laughs> so which is it? I can either go along Gabriel Reynolds' route that the Quran I ironically agrees with Acts 2 and 3, where Peter's like saying, hey, guess what, guys? You didn't actually kill Jesus because he's our Lord and Messiah, right? So, in other words, the Quran defends the resurrection of Jesus. So, Christos and Esti. Right. Or, the Quran is plagiarizing Gnostic literature, which means the okay. Quran is only stuck within the common era period and has nothing to do with right. the first century back. Yeah, okay. So, on the first one, I think you said his name was Gabriel Reynolds. I think you yes. said that that would require you to accept that he wasn't crucified. I think you said that. No, 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 no. Gabriel Reynolds is arguing that if you have Acts in mind, the Quran is not disagreeing with Acts. Therefore, you're 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 affirming the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus. Okay. Do, so, I mean, does Acts state that Jesus was crucified? Yes. Okay, but the Quran says he doesn't. So it's not compatible. So I don't no. know how you could use. No, the Acts. The Acts. So so Peter's telling the Jews in in in, in Pentecost, you. It, it it although you killed him or crucified him, God raised him. The Quran, if you if you read it, read between the lines and what it's saying. But we don't do that. We don't do although that. Although it appeared that you killed him, so it's not denying that they that that, that they killed him. But it, although it appeared that you killed him, guess what? Allah took him. That actually agrees with Acts two and three. But that's if yeah. you read it that way. Otherwise, a, you'll have to yeah. agree that the only other text, like extra Quranic yeah. text. That agrees yep. with the Quran is a Gnostic text. Right. But see, the, the, I understand what you're saying, but see the kind of slight flexibility then you have to have in how you read the Quran. And, and you, as you said, like read between the lines and earlier heard in the stream, like uh, words being slightly changed for the purposes of making a point. That's not consistent with how we read the Quran. So then we look to Quranic scholars like Ibn Kathir, and from there we get our position. So the stronger position for us, obviously, the the only viable position of those two is what Ibn Kathir presents. Um, so, Notice, no, we, uh, by the yeah. way, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying. Yeah. I, know you, I know what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. Right. Now, yeah, if you I mean, go with Ibn Kathir, that doesn't deny the Gnostic literature. It, yeah, yes, okay, it so does now, deny the New Testament, but you've yeah. affirmed that the, the veracity of the Gnostic texts. Yeah. Now, so my then question the... back to you is, why is okay. it only in the Gnostic texts and only in the Quran that you have a denial of the crucifixion? Okay, interesting. Yeah. So, uh, about the Gnostic texts, just one thing I want to do, do want to clarify. I think you said the word plagiarized. I, I think that's, it's not the most intellectually honest word if we assume that we're both being honest here, because you could easily say that, you know, two plus two is four, and then someone a thousand years later says two plus two is four. They're not plagiarizing a person. They're just re repeating something that they believe to be true okay a so two plus if, two equals four is true it's yeah 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 but let's 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 say you're a muslim and you believe that what the quran says is true and it all right all right it matches with the gnostic text okay so it's just reaffirming the truth okay so let's just not use the word plagiarizing because it's all just right, a little so, bit but, polemic but, but, you know but it's by just implication if, the, if you buy have the bias that the quran is true yeah. then the great treatise of the the, the, the second treatise of, of the great set is a true text Okay, so let's say then in these older, uh, these Gnostic texts, that there's a similarity in, in, in the understanding. Well, then, I mean, the, the 
the, the position that a Muslim would have is that, well, obviously there's something in that, like there's something to that, and it's being, it's being missed. Avery, do you know what this implies? All of us need to become Gnostic <laughs> and start reading the Nag Hammadi scriptures. No, maybe maybe they're not complete though. Then maybe they're not complete. Maybe they only have little <laughs> this, bits of truth in them. This was wow. discovered literally a few years after wow. the Dead Sea Scrolls, and this no, was I'm, showcased uh, to be yeah. why you have what's called a proto docetic heretical groups that that works like say john's gospel or the the letters of john had to yeah. respond to hey oh, oh in fact let me just say this quickly yeah if you affirm then the truthfulness of the gnostic text do you know why actually the gnostic texts deny the crucifixion here's why well i i can't say i affirm it because i don't know everything that's no, in no, it, no no but, no no okay <laughs> you know. but i'm just saying that when mm -hmm. you're saying you're starting with the Quran and that, oh, look, see, you have this text that affirms what the Even Quran if it said, didn't, right? it wouldn't matter. But yeah, I understand what you mean. But here's point. why the Gnostics deny the crucifixion. This is the irony. Okay, go. The Gnostics still believe that Jesus was Yahweh. Or Jesus yeah, is Yahweh. Well, then that's where they're and wrong. They, can't, they couldn't have conceived of Yahweh being nailed to, to a uh, basically a divine being. They couldn't conceive of a divine being being nailed to a Roman cross. So that's why they went that direction. It was a heretical movement, really. So John's gospel is all about defending the humanity of Jesus. No, yes, he, he is the word, but the word became flesh. So if you if you if you if you're like, oh see, the Quran agrees with this, mm -mm, but the yeah. text itself disagrees with the Quran when it comes yeah. to the divinity of Jesus. But see, that's why I wouldn't get excited about the Gnostics. Text, all right, so then the Quran you know, is all alone in its clarification. But, Notice the Quran then is not only denying the crucifixion, it's also denying the yep. deity of Jesus. So now the Quran becomes its own thing. But then you have to ask, why would such a, you've probably heard this and thought about this before, but why would such a uh, controversial statement be made? Like surely it'd be so much easier to just go along with, you know, the, the common narrative, if it's what you're saying it was, because you're just gonna alienate yourself by being so uh, controversial. In saying that, oh no, like that thing that you all believe happened didn't happen. I mean, there, it, it you have to contemplate that too. Like, that, well, that's a would... question you have to ask. You, you have to literally, if the yeah. Quran was a person, that's a question you have to ask the Quran. Because yeah, yeah, absolutely, everyone can be asked. It's a question for everybody. All scholarship, no matter what university you go to, they all agree that G, like like that Jesus was crucified, ranging okay, from but... from, for example, the most liberal atheists will say. Yeah, Jesus was crucified. I don't, by I don't care what atheists. I do not care what atheists. No, no, no. I'm just say. saying there's yeah. a huge gamut, right? Yeah. Everyone in academia agrees that that Jesus was crucified. It's only Muslims that deny the crucifixion of Jesus. Yeah, and it's only Muslims who believe in the one true God as well. In, in other mean, words, let me we... let me put it this way: Is there is can I use the four one fifty seven academically in historical Jesus studies anywhere? I don't know enough about historical Jesus studies to know what that would mean. Like prob okay, probably, probably Jesus not studies, because mainstream, mainstream. Everyone, yeah. it, it's argued that he was an, like, for example, if I go down the, the very liberal route that he was apocalyptic prophet, just a man, blah, blah. Mm. Yeah, the, yeah. the point is four one fifty seven is not taken seriously in academia as an actual historical claim. I understand. That's yeah. why Reynolds as a scholar, goes at it in a different way. It's like, you know what? Let's just, you know, read it, like read between the lines and say that, hey, it actually ironically agrees with Luke and Acts. So yeah, you have the Quran affirming the crucifixion and resurrection. But I agree with you that the majority of the, the consensus in, this, in the, you know, Tafsir and so on yeah. is that Jesus was not crucified. But then the only agreement that interpretation has in history yes, yes, is yes. with the Gnostic text. Yeah, but even if it didn't have that agreement, even if that was never discovered, it wouldn't change anything for the Muslim because we take it as the word of God. So all right, we don't but then you're all alone it's, now. And that's yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. no problem. There's no problem in that. But but well, I got to wrap this up, guys. All right, We're all right. at the three yeah, hour. It, it is. A, so it is an but, interesting topic. But yeah, I, I think there was just one thing I wanted to finish on there. Uh, just to kind of wrap up. Um, People, consens consensus reality has believed in a lot of very incorrect things. 
uh, over the years. And it's everything from the theology to non-theology. So just because it's held as a... <laughs> Avery, let me just say... No, that. no, no, I'll just finish. So I'll, wait, just finish. Wait, wait, I'll just okay, finish. I'll finish, finish, I'll just and finish. then I'll just say, say it. And, yeah. Okay, I'll just finish. So to say that because okay. all scholars believe that Jesus was crucified and that that dogma has been maintained and the impact that all of the imagery and adultery of his crucifixion has on, on the minds of people centuries and thousands of years later, to say that just because it's built up to be this dogma, that it has to be true, actually is a common pattern you see whereby the truth ends up being the complete opposite of what reality holds because of how we we build up these intellectual and cultural ideas around any concept. It put theology to the side, any concept. And then we eventually discover it was wrong. I mean, we have so many even modern contemporary examples. Gotta land your point, man. Gotta land. Yeah, yeah. That, that, no, that, that's my point. It's just that just because it's consensus, just because there's a, you know dogma around it doesn't mean that it's accurate. doesn't mean it's true. All right. it, it could just well, be that they're wrong. <laughs> you know, if you have to consider all right. that. So basically, you have this massive, as what Life said and you said, Avery, you have this massive buildup, starting with Genesis 3.15, all the way through Isaiah 53 being a highlight, Specifically, as I share with you every in verse 10, Zion, Jerusalem is the one that crucifies a suffering servant, right? And then finally, when Jesus comes on the scene as a suffering servant of Isaiah, not only do you have the creed of 1 Corinthians 15 that is dated to literally within months after the crucifixion. So if the crucifixion is 33 AD, notice Pentecost is seven weeks after the crucifixion. So that's not even like close to two months after the crucifixion, Peter's reminding them, by the way, all these signs has fulfilled Joel's prophecies and blah, blah. Paul quotes the creed. Uh, Philip in Acts 8 goes to the Ethiopian eunuch, quotes from mm. Isaiah 53 saying, hey, this is about Jesus. Yeah. And then finally, 600 years after that, so everyone is agreeing Jesus was crucified. The Gnostics were obviously running around going, we believe he's divine, but mm. how can we conceive of divine being crucified? And then the Quran, mm comes and says, no crucifixion, no divinity, right? Now notice yeah. this. Yeah. But the rest of the world continues on still believing in the two. <laughs> the rest of know, man. Western European Christianity well, I don't know. continues what, what do... on for the next 2,000 years yeah. despite the Quran coming on the scene going, no, stop, this is no, wrong. Stop, yeah, yeah. Well, what do Christmas anyway. trees have to do with the well, Middle East? Well, that, that's, you know, that's what that's do pine it. trees that's, have that's to do it. with the Middle no, East? No responses, man. That's it. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> But you're welcome to come back, man. I appreciate your demeanor. You're respectful, and uh, you can hold good conversation. So you can come back. I'm live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So you know, just pick whenever you want to yeah. show up, and you can cool. come on through. All right. Um, I'm all right. Then. Remember your light, your light upon light. Okay. Cool. So I remember. Yeah. Uh, Ramsey, I can see your camera is open. Are you a Muslim? You're a Muslim. Okay. I'll be live again Wednesday. So come come back on Wednesday. Um, I'm, I'll try to make sure I get you up here. Okay. Because at least you have your camera open and stuff. So we got to give you, you know, guys like you guys get private. I can't hear you, by the way. I can only see you. I, I, I can only see you. But um, but yeah, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm, I'm live around 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5, 6 Eastern Standard Time. So come whenever, and I'll bring you up. Rob, man, thanks. Thanks again for coming through, man. No, thank you, man. God <laughs> praise God and blessings to you and everyone listening. It's it's awesome to see just this engagement. It's it's mm -hmm. it puts a smile on my dial. So awesome, awesome. Well, yeah, you already know we always miss Rob here, man. We always miss our guy. Thanks for Hunter coming through. Life came through uh, earlier today. So yeah, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. So we will be back. On Wednesday, well, we'll be we will be back on Wednesday. I don't know exactly what topic I'm gonna do. We'll see what what, what the Lord leads. Uh, but make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't done it already. You like these discussions. You like to get notified on when I'm live and stuff like that. Because sometimes I do go live on a Tuesday or a Thursday randomly. Like it's it's just a one of those things I might just feel like going live and I'll do it. Okay. But Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are the standard days. If I go live on a Tuesday or a Thursday or maybe a Saturday or a Sunday, it's a, it's just, you know, because of whatever. Um, something popped up. All right. So just so make sure you subscribe so that you get the notifications and you don't miss anything. Don't miss anything. All right. So thank you guys for showing up. Make sure you hit the like button. Yeah. <laughs> Christ is risen.
Risen oh, someone's indeed. asking if I was orthodox. So I was just throwing this up. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. All right. So I love you guys, man. Thanks for coming through. Thank you for the Muslims for uh, participating. And I'll see you guys next time. God bless you.